Hello, everyone, and welcome to another session with Mage and Rage. Uh, this this time, the group is finishing their blood drive <laughs> to Rad Ruth, mm -hmm. so that they can glean some information on uh, the locations of Bell, Olianthus, and or Haruman. Uh, you don't know what information you make, can you? And that, you only started that, what, 15, 20 sessions ago? Man, really? <laughs> In a while. I definitely didn't forget why we were doing this and wasn't just like, hmm, we need blood because mm -hmm. blood is fun to have. <laughs> <laughs> the, the objective of Dungeons and Dragons, as always, is to acquire blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Through any means possible. <laughs> And powerful blood is yeah, ideally a bucket of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, welcome, Brandy. Uh, does anybody yeah. want to give a little recap from last time? I'll check audio. Um, okay, so last time, oh, right, last time uh, was just us driving driving home towards uh, Red Ruth, who is the person we got this blood for. Um, but it was co slightly complicated by the fact that we got raided by like the cool, cool goth war band. Um, <laughs> led by, what was her name? Like... Nora? Uh, Fenor. Fenor, yeah. Uh, Feanor, yeah. Um, uh, so we fought them for a while. Uh, she did some cool magic stuff that almost blew us up, uh, made us run into a wall really hard, you know, various cartoon hijinks ensued. <laughs> um, but we got, we got the better of her war band, at least she teleported away and, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. I'm sure she won't want vengeance for us destroying her war band or anything like that. Yeah, um, she's probably chill with it. Yeah. <laughs> we fulfilled the contract for our war machines but kind of like yep. when you finally pay off your phone and it breaks the same day <laughs> totally happened purely coincidental um, to my devil stride but like when you break a phone you just get a newer better cooler bigger one so i'm not yeah. writing a gilded war machine it all worked out in the end <laughs> <laughs> yes we took their big uh it's the same model as ours but it's covered in this cool gold armor so it's like way cooler um pimp my devil stride <laughs> <laughs> and this was all uh, we were in a hurry because we had just um killed the cult of the dragons like most of their dragons not all of their dragons just like two-thirds um <laughs> all of the so, dragons that were loaned to us are now yeah. dead so <laughs> i'm sure they won't want vengeance either it's cool after no. asking for one we murdered three. Yeah. So see, yeah. See, if they'd only given us one like we asked, it would exactly. ask, we would have only did to kill one. They did this to themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could have given you the adult white. Yeah, yeah. No, they could have. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just like the weak one. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. We figured it out. They'll never know. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, your new. Uh, Demon Grinder, the Golden Doom, doesn't run on on magic. Fuck. Oh, we got plenty of soul coins. We do actually have a good number of soul coins at this point, unless we were saving up for a mech, in which case we don't have nearly uh... enough soul coins. Yeah. <laughs> All morals have been lost. <laughs> we are using the soul coins. That is not entirely true. <laughs> Okay. I am You're using the soul point coins. Where we, you know, we may need to get this one updated as well. But at this exact moment, we don't have a way of making it go aside from soul coins. I like oh, Petra... Petra, our token good aligned. <laughs> <laughs> I also like how Petra is the one talking about getting it upgraded, but isn't willing to sign the contract. One of you guys signed We don't contract. necessarily have to get it upgraded through the same person. I mean, we know Tuka and Klonk. We know various <laughs> other people. We can explore various means. I mean, maybe somebody at the uh, 
at the bazaar could upgrade it for us and would just want money instead of, you know. Ooh, maybe, but she seemed like uh, it seemed like a pretty rare procedure that she was offering us. We'll we'll just go kill other war bands for her. So, <laughs> I think this the using spell slots is better for the economy, you know, because the soul coins stay in circulation. <laughs> That's what Mon's very interested in. <laughs> They're really in circulation; they just stay in our pockets. <laughs> Mostly in um, uh, Ash's pockets now. They, he doesn't care. Staying in circulation, you know, <laughs> and taking away our sanity. It's fine. Ash is evil, but you know what's more evil? Capitalism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the, really the root of this problem. Hoard the wealth. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> of course, of course, hell runs on freaking Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. do you know how many people have to die just to make one of those soul coins I mean it's one but that's still way more than it takes for coins up on the surface yeah uh, so yeah you you had a fun little fight with Feanor ran into an invisible wall and uh, kind of limped your way back to the bone brambles which is uh, yep where we ended off and i it was later in the afternoon so i believe you were going to take some time to rest before seeing brad ruth that you, would be the wisest all, decision yeah because you were still spent from the battle i'd be pretty on board with that in fact as soon as we can get a long rest I'd be extra on board with that because I got life drained twice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Fun stuff. So yeah, you make it there and I already ran long rests on your characters in Foundry. So that is all squared away. So uh, who needs a card? Uh, I already have a card, but before we go into cards, I'm going to plug yep. our, the other thing that many, that many of us do. Uh, <laughs> make sure that you head to ensuingconfusion.pinecast.co to listen to the hottest actual play RPG podcast in the in the uh, sector. What do we call the <laughs> uh, wards? Yeah, hottest hottest actual play rpg in the ward we're on uh, episode nine now and it's getting really good um so please please listen to us there as well <laughs> subscribe review you'll have a lot of fun we promise uh and yes now we can do cards <laughs> I, I need to make myself a bulleted list so i don't miss anything because i always jump around when we start up and forget where <laughs> i'm good. at um and saying the the hottest live actual podcast in the ward kind of makes me think like we're in a hospital <laughs> well, <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> it's a really cool hospital yeah <laughs> so yeah but yeah you should all go check that out it's pretty great um last session we uh took our no ship whitewater rafting <laughs> hey Careful now. That's uh, actually pretty removed <laughs> from where we are in the in the lineup. Uh, oh, but it's yeah. okay. That's just a nice little teaser. Yeah. <laughs> teaser for way down the line. You just have to keep yeah. listening to find out. Yeah. I think I think right now we have a uh, two weeks of lead time on it. So okay. yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, look forward to it. <laughs> uh, and cards. Who needs one? Yes. I still have mine. I think I'm still good. Okay. I still have mine. Okay, so no one needs a card. Do I so... need a card? I didn't take notes last time. Um, I, th I think I need a card. Okay. Then you will get the Ace of Cups. The worst things that the worst thing that's ever happened to me. 
Okay. Do you have a long list to go through, or does it kind of <laughs> culminate <laughs> at growing udders? <laughs> Me meeting all say stealth here. Uh, <laughs> bullshit would have happened. <laughs> oh, wait, do you still have the udders? Cool. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Otters and scabby skin right now, I believe. What kind of armor do you wear? Because I'm wondering how that's accommodating the others. <laughs> hmm. Um I believe you have leather. You just gotta buy it. Right? Mail? Yeah. Gail mail. Hmm. Got a chain mail? Some some sort of mail. <laughs> You have scale mail. Scale mail. So That's scale mail is that. is similar to chain mail where it's links and scales holding everything together. So there's a little bit of a breathing room, but okay. it is definitely pulled tight over the udders currently. <laughs> and um. Um, under the scale mail, it almost looks like Mary Penn is a little bit pregnant. <laughs> um, just because oh. you can't actually tell that there's udders there's just a a growth of some sort oh boy this is officially one of those fetish D, &D campaigns now <laughs> <No>. <laughs> gonna have to get that book uh, and what what that one book? Book, oh the one with the all book the of words. erotic fantasy yeah <laughs> exactly oh, <boy>. right <laughs> a bunch of nerds decide to write about <laughs> oh, what if there is sex in D and D? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, in like the third edition days, yeah, Ooh. good times. Yep. I mean, that's what good bards time. are. <laughs> it's very out of print, but last time we checked, you could obtain a copy of it on Amazon for like three hundred dollars. Oh, if shit. you really wanted to have like a a table you could roll on for pregnancy. Okay. <laughs> In case that's your erotic fantasy. <laughs> um, <laughs> For sure, some baseball it is, and you know, well, no judgment. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. So, anyway. Back to hell. You know. <laughs> go, go, I think that was the worst thing that's ever happened to me <laughs> that, that <conversation>. right now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. In real life. <laughs> go ahead. Had, like fantasy STDs in that day, but I can't yep. remember. <laughs> Because of course they would. Like in Fable, you gotta collect them all. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, so yeah, long rest. Go ahead and role play in your characters if you'd like. Uh, utilize your cards. Hmm. I, I I don't know. I don't know if I can start from. <laughs> <laughs> just like taking, taking just a, lot, a standing start here, going straight from udders to. What's I'm, Lulu's boy. card? Uh, and nobody cares about Cracking Dolt. Um, yeah, oh. oh, sorry, Cracking Dolt. I, I actually don't know what Lulu's card is because it's on my old PC, so let's just draw new ones for those two. Um, oh, Lulu. Does somebody want to draw for them? Or do you want me to draw for them? We can draw for them. Let's bust it out. I have my Thoth tarot deck, so we might get real weird if we get one of the cards that uh, <laughs> does not normally fall in a Rider Waite style. But, you know. You'll have to interpret be... it for us. <laughs> what, what would it most closely co correlate to? <laughs> we'll see. All right. We're going to shuffle it and see what we got for Lulu. Lulu, think positive thoughts. <laughs> Lulu, your card is, oh, it's the Three of Cups, oh, which in the Thought Tarot is abundance. The what? That is my first defeat. Oh, she's going to get her memory she back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Um, <laughs> and do you want to draw one for Gargoth? Yeah. All right, Gargoth. Let's see what yours is. Think evil thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> we can't have that one. That one's definitely not in. Uh, not. Oh well, we'll just make it up. Okay. 
So he got the art card, which is definitely not in the Rider weight system. And uh, I think the prompt that's going to go with that is, when is the last time he truly felt uh, in communion with another? Oh, mm. shit. Throwing wild cards now. That's deep. <laughs> well, I mean, the art card is all about alchemy, right? It's all about joining the salve and coagula going on here, right? You say so. You're, you all are going to start talking about udders and D and D fetishes, and he's going to start going on about um, um, <laughs> the last time he got with uh, Lucille. What's her face? The Lucille, last time yeah. he, he felt held, <laughs> held by someone. <laughs> I hold yeah, him all the, the last time. You really felt like, really close to somebody. You know? I, I do nothing but hold the guy. <laughs> do you really hold me. <laughs> Hold me. And Kike and Dolt, your card. Oh, I don't even have a is... thing for him. <laughs> yeah, let's get and, and better spot. Oh, mm -hmm. and small size. <laughs> and small oh, size. no. Kike and Dolt's card is the five of pentacles or five of coins, which in this tarot is worry. Mm -hmm. um, that would be, I love my profession be because... Worried. I love my what? Profession. Uh, <laughs> what? I thought you said I love my computer at first, and I just started <laughs> thinking of the song from Napoleon Dynamite, where it's like, yes, I love technology. <laughs> <laughs> Always and forever. I thought, I thought Always you said I love my forever. friends, and then I'm like, oh, well, we murdered most of them. So I don't, I don't, Oops. I don't know if they were cranking Friends. I don't We're know if he loves friend. his profession either. <laughs> well, what's his new profession? Chicken tender. Oh, that is true. It's a new one. <laughs> yeah. He's chicken not, tender? Not chicken, not chicken, not like <laughs> minder of chickens. <laughs> he is not himself a chicken, He's the chicken, a chicken tendy. <laughs> He's the chicken guy. Oh, you, know, the one. you know people who are, who are labeled cinnamon rolls? Well, now uh -huh. we have a new group of people. The chicken, chicken tenders. tenders. <laughs> That's, okay, we're not Baldur's Fist anymore. We're the chicken tendies. <laughs> we have, have two chickens. Baldur's Gauntlet. <laughs> All right, that's canon. Though that, I'm uh, writing that in. The chicken tendies. I'm putting that. <laughs> I was already writing that in my journal. Yeah, he's the guy that uh, stands out on the side of the road, dressed up as a chicken tender, spinning the sign. Yeah. yeah. He'd make a good sign spinner. He could spin it with his beard. Yeah. That'd be that'd be pretty rad. That'd be So fun fact, I literally Google this on Friday. There's in demand high quality spinners that can earn up to $70 an hour. Now not your oh, average shit. quiz knows sign spinner, but it's a real job that makes more money than I do. So... <laughs> I mean it's not great. Art. <laughs> I imagine it's pretty draining, especially if it's hot. But we should probably play D and D. Oh, great! Right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> spin some signs. Speaking so, about chicken tendies and mm -hmm. side spinners, let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. So, if nobody wants to do any role playing for the long rest, that's fine. You don't have to. Just the opportunity is there. It's kind of hard to break off of that pre-game conversation <laughs> <laughs> and go straight into. Here's my biggest regret in life. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time I failed my master. <laughs> Wait, is that your is that your prompt though? Um, I think mine is why I love my profession. Unless did I already answer that? I don't know. I don't think hey, I do did. you and I can have the same so. the same why I love my profession, maybe. Because I, I got this so. one like two sessions ago. I <laughs> know. Means it shuffle your deck. Is it? It shuffled the deck. Oh, wait, I draw from the middle. Oh, is this? Um. No, we drew. This was two different decks. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> there's just a strong pull here for that <laughs> card, I guess. Okay, so we'll we'll dive in then. Um, first, I need everyone to make a con save, except for. Ash. 
All right, let's get this sucker up and going. Nice. Double digits. <laughs> on save. Come on, fail some con saves. Hey. Come join the cool kids club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, are we all in Petra's holy aura still? Well, um, I mean, well, Petra, I'm going to assume, tries to sleep toward the center of the tiny hut with the understanding that in a round space, <laughs> everywhere is a corner and you can't <laughs> where the last yeah. key corner was. But you mm. know the center is not a corner. That is true. Right. <laughs> Mark a wall or something. It's a little X. <laughs> No, I think it's more exciting if we don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's your hut. Uh, it's my hut. You can, <sighs> you can kind of tell. <laughs> you go by smell. Oh, God. Um, Mon, can you make me a... Your bonus is still plus three, right, Petra? That uh, doesn't yeah. change? Okay. Uh, Mon, go ahead and roll me a d6. I love rolling. Uh, so, man. Oh boy. <laughs> I know that tone of voice. <laughs> you've uh, you've shifted. My evil. You you are now evil. So play that <laughs> play that as you will. Again, it doesn't have to be anything um like it doesn't have to be evil evil. It can be subtle evil. It can be however you feel. You're right at the top of that that changeover. It's a cool Disney queer coded villain type evil <laughs> that's what we're going for green flames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. and you'll say fools more often than usual <laughs> <laughs> a big puffy coat and tentacle legs that's how you wake and up and i'll steal someone yeah. Quick metamorphosis, oh, no. no biggie. I, mean, I just Mon feel like if we woke up demon Icker. Exactly. That if we woke up and saw Mon like that, we would just assume that Mon raided the demon Icker. <laughs> I accidentally peed all over the demon Icker. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know how this happened. Mom found the piss drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, almost... Thanks for joining us in this very cursed session of D&D. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just real quick adding a couple things to our flesh warping table. Um... <laughs> oh, no. Every household should have one. The flesh warping um, table. The flesh warping table. I have well, one I in want, my kitchen. I <laughs> now, I want two things on the flesh warping table. I want one possibility that just your entire lower half becomes one tentacle. Just like, you know, <laughs> like, a, like you'd be a naga, but instead of a snake body, you just have one tentacle. And then I want another option where all of your toes become tentacles. So you have like legs and feet, but your toesies are tentacles that can walk around. Uh, there's already something similar to that, I believe. Be I was adding crocodile really skin and croc skin. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about the croc skin. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. we, we, we discussed that in our. Hey, like crocodile skin or like croc shoes? The shoes. Oh, Both. God. Yes. That'd be super comfortable, though. Um, <laughs> For your skin? <laughs> it's so easy to get clean. Yeah, just hose it off. <laughs> Okay, okay, but I'm okay. The technical <laughs> thing is really <laughs> so long rest. Your your spell slots are regained. Uh, your hit points are restored back to their natural max, Petra. Um, <laughs> Which was and, not that great to begin with, but like, let's be honest, it's better than where it was at after last grade. Yeah, <laughs> it's not great when something that 
wasn't great goes down. <laughs> So you are parked outside the Bone Brambles, and you have a bucket plus a vial of blood. What do you do? Bring oh, a yeah. bucket and a mop for this wet ass <laughs> prophecy. Um, uh, see, I'm I just hope we don't hearing, fill it. I'm, I'm just hearing that uh, love the kind you clean up with a mop and bucket in my head right now. <laughs> oh my god. I think this is enough for for which one are we seeing? Red Roof. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Red Roof. Okay. Well, did we bad. spill the bucket and then recover most of it? Uh, yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> enough. Mary Penn was able to get it back in there. Some of it. <laughs> yeah, Mary Penn used blood bending to get the <laughs> blood back into the bucket. <laughs> oh well, well, let's head into the brambles, huh? Let's get this show on the road. So th- this is isn't your first time here at the Bramble, so you're mm-hmm. able to maneuver it, avoid all the creepy dead ends <laughs> that you uh, went through before. There's also still some damage from where the undead treants had broken through. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you make your way into the center of the brambles and it looks like radruth has done some repair in here it's not all caved in anymore well she got rid of all our hard work yeah does it still oh. have that yeah, so as you go in her name yeah when you go in her little hut in the middle you see that she has rehung her entrails to her liking <laughs> back in organized manner that hurts they no longer say welcome home rad <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um uh she has put up her shelves back as best as she could they're not as full as they were before because jars had broken um but she turns around and sees you come in does she let us into her house after what we did to it? <laughs> I mean, it's not. I mean, yes, you did try and <laughs> pre predefy it, make it pretty again after to cover up some of the damage and make her overlook it. But the damage wasn't entirely your fault. So it wasn't. It would have been a lot worse off if we weren't there. So. Mm-hmm. They would have yeah. knocked the whole thing down. Uh, you know? Her exact words were to watch over the hut, not prevent any damage from happening. <laughs> so We did watch it. <laughs> we watched and it We happen. did also bring her the blood back <laughs> we needed, like it's, two weeks ago. So... It's the fine print. <laughs> Finally getting some progress done. Yeah, the great thing would be if she really never expected us to return with the blood. She was just giving us some activity to go do to get us out of her hair. Like, like an oh, impossible yeah, task. Um, yeah. <laughs> super powerful blood. I'm sure you'll find it. <laughs> okay. We have the blood. <laughs> yep. Just knock on the pillar. Hello, we're back. We brought the, the blood. blood. From 1970s mom who's like, go Don't outside. ask where we got it Don't from. Don't come back till dinner. <laughs> <laughs> She looks at you, she's like, well, what took you so long? <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not get into it, but it's very powerful blood, I assure you. Yeah, what? what's it from? What'd you get me? She kind of takes uh, the bucket, dips her finger in and licks it. Tell you what, try it's it out. See, it will tell you if you're right. It is ethically sourced. <laughs> uh, let me... Technically, it is. So we got it with consent. <laughs> we did. Mm-hmm. Um, Sustainable. Let's see. We'll, we'll roll a. Roll. Something going to happen to her. Is her head going to uh, explode? <laughs> she, just... yeah, she, she licks the blood, kind of thinks about it a second dips her finger in even farther, like, full up, and just sticks it in her mouth and sucks off the whole thing. She's like, I'm like, don't drink all of it. (laughs) It's not not going to be able to get more. Don't go back in the packet. We got it for a purpose. This, this, 
I, I don't know if I've encountered this blood before. What is it? Empyrean. Oh. Mm. Big sparkly celestial ding dong blood. <laughs> he did you, not. You got it from the ding dong. His ding dong. No. 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 I mean, did we specify? We would have where charged extra. <laughs> <laughs> he cut his palm, but I guess we can tell her he cut his ding dong for us if we really want. <laughs> I don't know how she's going to verify it. otherwise. To be that is honest. true. <laughs> Is that what you're telling her? No. <laughs> I mean, we can. <laughs> the buckets from Lots the wrist. A period the of dick blood. <laughs> it could be heavily. We got implied. it from a large, sparkling, naked angelic being. I'm just picturing like a Diablo loot, uh, t- like icon for it, or like you know the little box, and it's just Imperian dick blood in purple font. <laughs> 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 Legendary. I don't know where you came across an Empyrean down here, but (laughs) hats off to you. (laughs) Yeah, it was was a process, but this should be powerful enough, right? I I do believe so. Um, (laughs) And the whole time, her skulls are chattering around her neck. And (laughs) it's, it's the same, pretty much the same ambience you had before. Entrails and organs hanging from the walls she now has her bucket of blood um so she um she kind of shoves some of the garbage on the floor off to a corner clears a space and starts drawing runes in the floor on the floor with the blood and she puts the bucket in the middle <laughs> So, who was it you were looking for again? Let's do oh. Haruman, because that's the name I remember. Yeah, let's, that's let's look at our notes real, real quick. Well, okay, here we go. Haruman is the guy we met when we came to Avernus, and I tried to light him up with a cool flame wall, and he just charged through it. Because that's all anybody ever does when I yeah. do a flame wall. Because we're in hell. Um, <laughs> so, he was pretty cool. Uh, there was Bell, the former ruler of Avernus uh and then there was olanthius who was actually my first thought because olanthius refused to serve like he refused to take the knee when zariel was taking power so she struck him down and turned and like zombified him and then was like okay you're gonna serve me now so i figured he'd probably be the most likely to betray her if we could like break the curse or whatever yeah Um, and we're good at breaking curses but we've, we've already done it once we're good at betrayal (laughs) <laughs> I mean, oh, like, this would be little... good. What would be a good choice? But like, re- remember, fl- flaming guy riding mm. a nightmare. We could have a race with Petra and Harman, and that'd be dope. <laughs> yeah, but Nehru's a baby nightmare. Nehru hasn't yeah. fully nightmared out yet. <laughs> it's true. She's just a nightfall. <laughs> I guess we'll make na- night yearling. <laughs> So you you mentioned several names. Um, mm-hmm. So well, what I go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go. Ahead. So what I need this, I'm I can provide the conduit, but I need you to focus on who you want to find. You can all focus on someone diff independently. You can all focus on one person. It's up to you. Oh, so will the ritual still work as well if we think of different people? Because that might save us some time. <laughs> uh, it, as long as, as your thoughts are wholly directed at what you want to find, you should glean some information. Oh God, Mon, Mon, <laughs> stay no, on, I'm, stay on topic. I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start thinking about. I don't know. <laughs> don't think of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, uh, what was it I posted in Dwayne Discord? Uh, mm-hmm. what? The group gives blood to Red Ruth. Red Ruth starts casting the ritual. She says, uh-oh, and just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> 
Well, my my uh, vote then would be let's all think of one of these fools. Uh, one of us could even think of Zariel. There's enough of us, and that way we'd have we'd have some good insight about all four of them. I could. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get Zariel. insight about all four, right? We just get insight about one. No, she's saying if as long as each one of us, as long as you focus solely on this person, this whoever you want to know more about. You'll receive some insight about them. That's what you're oh. saying. Does and it doesn't seem like, like it'll be like more powerful if we all like focus on one thing. At least that's the impression that's I get. Nice. Does Lulu count? Uh, she can. Yeah, she can assist and be part. Um, Krakenbolt doesn't really scary. know much about what y'all are trying to do, so. He wouldn't be much assistance right now. How about the abyssal chickens? No oh boy. <laughs> they also do not know much of what's going on right now. I like how they did they follow us into Red Ruth's hut and she's just like, ah, there's two chickens and then this guy. No, butter spot is in my house. handbag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you could have left Craig and Dolt out to keep an eye on the vehicles. It's up to and the you. chickens. That's a yeah. good idea. Okay. Well, I... So that would be my my suggestion, but we can do something else for you before. I just really like that you said handbag. Now I'm imagining you carrying like an Alsace <laughs> handbag with with <laughs> your chicken in it. A little chicken head popping out. That's what I'm going to commission over at the Emporium. So. <laughs> Well, I think then that it sounds like a smart idea. Uh, I would say that um, Lulu should probably think about her her best buddy from way back in the day. They had a very close bond, so maybe you know she'd be able to focus on her very closely, sure. and then the rest of us kind of split up the the three that we're supposed to be thinking of. Sounds like a solid plan to me. Yep. Yep. So who's concentrating on what? I'll take Alanthius. I'll go with Alanthius as well. I'm going to do Haruman. He's covered in hot rod flames, and that's my favorite color. That, that is true. You are also mm. covered in hot rod flames. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you Who say, uh, Catherine? Um, Haruman. Haruman. Okay. Uh, Mary Penn and Mon. Who is um, who is who's the other person? Yeah. So there's Bell, and right oh. now uh, Haruman only has one. So if you're splitting it up like that, uh, only one of the three will only have one person focusing on them. Hmm. Who is Who's Bell? Who's good at focusing? Bell was the previous one of the previous rulers of Avernus, the previous ruler before Zeriel. You saw okay. Asmodeus uh, make Zeriel the Archduke of Avernus while Bell was standing there, and Bell threw a fit. Mm. Honestly, I think that's a good option too because. Sounds like Bell really did not want to get replaced. Bell's oh, probably yeah. a little pissed off. My notes were inaccurate. Yeah, that sounds like a good lead too. I will think about Bell. Okay. The big Mary thinky. Penn? Are you thinking about the orc back home? <laughs> 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 so hung oh, up. No. It was just a one night stand. <laughs> it's just a really hot one night stand. Mary Penn only snogged them. They didn't even do anything more. What has Mary yeah. been thinking about? And didn't you try to like send them or something, like contact them? And they were like, who's this? <laughs> you know? Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. <laughs> I guess. No. So we have two for Bell. Two for Olianthus and two or, and one for Haruman. And one for Zeriel. Lulu. And one for Zeriel. <laughs> so uh, you'll you notice that the runes that she's laid out, there are 
six nodes on the outside with the bucket of blood at the center. She directs each of you to kneel behind one of the runes. I take the rune closest to Petra. <laughs> uh, it, every, everyone is going to be within range of Petra for Petra's aura. Oh. I remember what happened last time when we sat around in a circle. And we had to think. <laughs> think, think, think. Oh, didn't have our oh no, it's chair. one of these. <laughs> oh, no. I, I pet better spot for good luck. This time's going to be better. So, uh, you all uh, take your position behind one of the rooms, right? No yep, one says I got no. small face. <laughs> small face. <laughs> small face would be here whether I wanted small face too or not. So small face is here. Yep. <laughs> okay, so you, you take your positions and she directs each of you to concentrate on the person that you are that you want to find the location of because uh, that is the ultimate goal to find the location so you can go to them mm -hmm. so once you are concentrating she began begins an arcane chant and the blood and the bucket uh shoots up in a stream out of the mm -hmm. bucket and it splits off into six streams and branches out uh, touching each of your foreheads uh, and oh, converging great. on the metal I, in the middle i open my mouth to see if i can catch blood in my mouth because <laughs> she seems so intent on tasting it i'm like i'm kind of curious how it's gonna taste god dang so you, dracula so you're not focusing on <laughs> On Bell? Of course, Mon isn't focusing. We knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Mon became 20% cooler overnight, so yeah, he's going to be doing this. And I need each of you to make a constitution check. Con? No. Yeah. Ooh, the rare con check. You almost never make a con check. All right, wait, a con check is where we just roll our little number above our constitution, right? Yep. Got a six. And oh, all Petra of these... sucked. Petra had a hard time. <laughs> well, you'd also add your proficiency because of your aura, at least. Yeah. Unlike well, freaking all face. Is aura con on checks or just saves? Oh, that's a good point. It is just on saves, isn't it? Yep. I think on it's saves. just on saves. Ash. Um, Mary Penn. Just seeing who saved, who failed. I have as much as a much constitution as Mon. Wait, no, Mon's definitely beefier than me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Well, you're so, both adding plus two, aren't you? Yeah, you're the same. Okay. Now, so, Mon rolled a two and has a six. Yeah. Uh, Mon's uh, as hell. Is that partial? Is that a partial proficiency thing going on? That plus two? That, that second uh, plus two? Maybe. Uh, either bad. way, Mon's going to fail. <laughs> no, right. no, <laughs> dude. I'm, I'm um, trying to catch the blood I, I will, in my mouth. I, I, I will. I'll, uh, I'll give you this because I forget, forgot. I was going to remind you. Um, if you mm -hmm. have had inspiration and wanted to use it, oh shit! Do I have? I don't think I had. I don't know who does. I don't think I do, or else I totally would have used it. But you know what? I teamed up with Alsace, who has a much beefier con than me. So at least Alsace, you know, Alsace, maybe you can carry this for us. Hopefully. And Lulu. Don't forget about Lulu. <laughs> well, so. that's true. But Lulu's thinking about Zariel, and we were thinking about Oleanthus. But so. uh, 
apparently I'm not thinking about anything except for the fact that I just had a whole bunch of blood thrown in my face. <laughs> it's it's just a little dot on your forehead, you know, stream connecting the subconscious. Um, so as you're concentrating on, on these uh, people, you see first with Lulu, uh, the blood kind of surges and ripples from her and in the center you see a scene begin to form made out of blood uh the blood being used for the ritual uh where's my notes good thing we have a bucket of blood <laughs> <laughs> or so... does the blood just like never run out uh, you're not sure. Um, within the blood, you see a scene beginning to form of the flying fortress that you've seen before while you were up in Alterel. And you see it reshape and zoom into the uh, top level. And you see Zeriel there commanding, giving direction telling troops where to go and it kind of zooms out and it just it seems to be over a battlefield somewhere in Avernus. Uh it seems like she's always on the move. Hmm. Sensible. Right. If you have a flying fortress, you might as well fly around on it. Yeah. <laughs> she's girl uh, bossing. For <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can guess like girl boss. <laughs> that was the last one. <laughs> Gatekeep our way out of this. Gate, one keep <laughs> uh, serial strategy number one. <laughs> uh, for Altace, you see us. So the the blood settles back down and evens back out between all of you. All says you you see a similar ripple, and in the center you see a barren hilltop beneath a pair of leaning mon monoliths, pitch black stairs leading down into the hill, rows of kneeling knights unmoving, a crypt. Makes and the sense. Blood. He is dead. And the blood disperses back what? out. Did you say mewing knights? Kneeling. Okay. <laughs> Kneeling. It's the, it's, it's the mewing crypts. <laughs> I thought maybe it was like, you know, some people say someone's like a mewling wealth or something. So mm -hmm. I thought like, you know, lines of mewling knights. <laughs> no. Not that. Um... <laughs> And Maripin, you, the ripple, runs out from your forehead, and in the middle, in blood, you see a volcano ringed in fire and ash, a fortress hewn into its walls. Deep within the keep, seated upon a flying throne, is a pit fiend. And as as this scene plays in the middle, uh, I'll say you feel the power of your sword kind of thrum. It's like, oh, that guy. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm paying attention. And for Ash, Mon, and Petra, you concentrate. Uh... You concentrate, and Mon is just distracted by the blood, trying to you know, stick stick his tongue up and I'm, lick I'm it thinking. as it's flowing to his forehead. <laughs> uh, Petra and Ash, you you can't hold on to those thoughts of Haruman. Uh, you're kind of thinking more about just fire, <laughs> Ash, and Petra. You you think that maybe it's you. When uh, all faces comes up, but <laughs> well, you know, you know, I was like, there's a reason I'm doing this with all face. All face, <laughs> you know, very rarely fails at anything. 
<laughs> well, you know, when you're a, when you're a noble, you always fail upward. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I've got blanket coverage, right? Because it's not like it's like, oh yeah, this one was all all face, so I can just be like, who knows who succeeded? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it was a team effort. <laughs> So uh, once the final scene fades out, uh, the the chanting from Rad Ruth fades away. The blood withdraws back into the center and into the bucket, and the ritual is complete. So you gained information on Zeriel, Olianthus, and Bell. Haruman, you're not sure. Mm. Do I know what the blood tastes like now? Um, how are you getting the taste of blood? You you weren't able to like lick up because it kind of just uh, it followed your forehead. Well, I'm assuming it's gonna drip down a little bit. No, it all That's withdrew. It uh, all withdrew back into the bucket. <laughs> oh, good. Do we still have the vial of blood? We can still incorporate that in our korean 12 step skincare routine uh you didn't have to give her that if you just gave her the bucket that's fine doing vampire <laughs> facials <laughs> so does that does that give you what you wanted um yes that's a that's a big help um that, that the barren hilltop. How did you describe the monoliths, or how, what did they look like? They were were they like crooked uh, or something? Yeah, so it was a barren hilltop beneath a pair of leaning monoliths. Leaning, right? I wrote barren twice, and I knew that wasn't right. All right, surrounded by mewing knights. <laughs> <laughs> Should be easy Sorry. to find. Oh, that's, that's, when, that's when Petra lost it when she just heard it. <laughs> yeah, she wait, couldn't hold on to the image. Wait, I think, I think I lost the thread here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, was, um, that was the one she was trying to concentrate on, but she heard mm-hmm. you being and was like, I don't, I don't think I'm doing this. I think right. this is right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I'll say so just uh, thank Red, Red Ruth and be like, yes, this should be immensely helpful. Um, and I think he sounds kind of distracted when he says it because he's like kind of like holding, you know, the hilt of his sword, just kind of like and starting to focus on it, like seeing if he can tell any more about why it was particularly taken with that that volcano and the seat of Bell. Uh, so what you get from it is a feeling of more power. Not that there's more mm-hmm. power that you're getting from the sword right now, but that the right. sword is being drawn toward more power. Oh. Sword it's a natural thing for a sword you? to want. <laughs> no, my sword would never leave me. We signed a contract. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a bit different. We have a prenup, okay? <laughs> Oh, but if you have a prenup, I can't ship the sword with your shield. And what's the point? <laughs> well, so, the shield is shipped with whoever uh, their ex is. That one that we saw on our way down. Lucille? Lucille. They could be in a poly. Lucille, Gargoth, and my sword could be in a polycule. We don't know. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh. <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, also seems kind of preoccupied with that, but he is glad that we have a solid lead now. Ash is going to give herself a pat on the back for remaining conscious during this entire endeavor. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Me too. It's all about positive steps. Good I- times. Mon isn't surprised that it didn't work for him because he didn't like hear the name properly when it was told to him. So he was like, Ball? Like... <laughs> the like the god or was it Dell like <laughs> like, <the laughs> like some shooter. guy named Dell like I don't know like, like the funky <laughs> Homo sapien he's yeah. down here in hell <laughs> <laughs> he's just chilling he's like shoot guess we'll never know <laughs> mm. 
So that's Sprite Butter Spot. You were a good luck charm. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I did my part. You did your part. We're even. Yeah, I guess that's it. If, good luck uh, with the forest. Yeah, again, if you need potions, let me know. Uh, yeah, what, what kind of potions do you have? I don't know if we went over the, your, offer, your offerings before. Um, so, so she has a variety. Uh, I need only your strongest potions. Yeah, we need the strongest potions. Yeah, <laughs> potions going into battle. <laughs> so you can get common or she has a variety of potions. You can get common or uncommon potions for a soul coin or a rare potion for two soul coins. Mm. A common potion for a soul coin? That's highway robbery. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell. So we like make your own damn potions then all says. Jeez. You can always ask us uh, to house sit for you again if you ever need a house sitter. Um... Uh, I I had my trip to the the spa. I should be good for another hundred years or so. <laughs> okay. Mm, <fair. laughs> I'll say says it just like that. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's a hundred years back in a time? It's a hundred years in Avernus. So like. Compared to not Avernus. I don't know. Why would I care? <laughs> That's fair. Fair. Yeah. Redruth's tired of her shit. <laughs> I wonder if Redruth has ever considered leaving Avernus. You know, taking a a tour somewhere. Maybe <laughs> like the the Riviera. Cruise. Nice well, cruise, I think. A Redruth. little cruise. Yeah. Is... Maybe right, the I've... maybe all the hags could get together. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. What were you saying? Uh, I was just going to say, you, I believe someone inferred <laughs> this before, um, but the Bone Brambles, uh, with the Dryad Spirits that you fought and everything, uh, this is a little piece of reality that's been pulled from the Feywild into Avernus. Oh, that's rough. Oh. Avernus so probably not, this. not too happy about where they are right now. Um, why is Avernus just collecting pieces of other realms and dragging it down into itself? Well, it's like hungry, hungry hippoing other realms. <laughs> Hag Hags are a creature of the Fae. Um, you can probably assume that this was her doing. Mm, she she was missing a little piece of home. You know, when you move somewhere else and you just like take all the Shit, land. That's and right. We're surrounded by diorads, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, but you haven't seen any. All right, we're good. <laughs> good. Um, yeah, actually, and you're not surrounded by dryads. You're surrounded. What you encountered before, I believe, were banshees, which oh, were yeah, which were previously dryads. So you're fine. Yeah, not even yes. scary. Yeah, Banshees aren't fine. scary at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not dryads. <laughs> yeah, she loves hearing the gentle blowing of the banshees under the eaves at night. It really lulls her to sleep. <laughs> so it really bad. does. It reminds her of home. Oh, somebody's <laughs> going to die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> While her skulls chatter and she counts entrails to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, Do the right. skulls eat? Do the oh, skulls her. eat? Yeah, the skulls that chattered. <laughs> Do you ask her? I mean, I probably wonder out loud, but don't like actually ask her. Uh, so as you're kind of like wondering out loud, muttering to yourself, she's like, why, why would they need to eat? Do you see a digestive system? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the digestive system is on the wall, and she kind of points to the entrails just around. <laughs> like, so yes, do I do see a digestive system. <laughs> how do you? How do oh, you? Yeah. Start she has just the whole parts. She doesn't leave anything behind. She's not <laughs> I, wa I, I want her advice on how she creates the this skull necklace. Like, how? Where do you start? 
what did you get this idea from? Because I think they're amazing. It's it starts with some dead bodies. Okay. <laughs> like all good things. Like all good things. Are there are there like schools that are too big? Because I think they have a <laughs> Mom, the no, taxidermist. These, these have all been uh oh, kind of no, shrunken no, down. No, 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 no. And there goes Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, what are you doing? Crimes. Eating food or not over <laughs> a plant. Just crimes. Tastes like um, gold. Yes. <laughs> what do we do now? What was our goal after we did the ritual? Uh, uh, that we were going to go find the person we were looking for, right? So that we could somehow work with them to, I don't know, defeat Zariel or return Zariel back to her non Dumont, her devilish state. Um, yep. We... Okay. So, uh, and also, he seemed to want to talk to Olanthius first before, but now he's kind of into this bell idea. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the original dream scene that you went through, you went through Lulu blocking out the reality of things. You saw her and Zariel walking through a rainbow field. And once you pushed back that, you were on a battlefield and Zariel had fallen. Hmm. And you beat off uh, some of the spine devils that were attacking. <laughs> Following don't, that... Don't. <laughs> you said you beat off some of the spine devils. <laughs> 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 I mean, you've got Mary Penn in your group, so <laughs> okay. it's Sorry, research for Volo. Oh, Stop. <laughs> That's oh, not fair. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing the cum shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this whole section's gonna be cursed. It's so bad. Okay. Uh, According to Brandy, research day 56, speed off spine double. I bet it's in that book. I bet it's in that book. Well, on the table for beating off the spine double. Um, uh, so you push through, and at the end of the dream sequence, you saw... Um, you saw a couple things. Um... And if you didn't see what I think I remember I told you, then you saw it. So, retcon, whatever. And um, <laughs> you had seen that um, Lulu with one of Zeriel's commanders, Yale, uh, took Zeriel's sword and had plunged it into the ground of Avernus. And a mm -hmm. citadel had sprung up, but it was covered with the scabby exterior of Avernus, kind of lost. Mm -hmm. And then you had seen the scene with Esmodeus, Zeriel, Haruman, Bell, and Oleanthus. And you, after those scenes, the best direction that you had to go in was to finding one of those three Bell, Harman, or Oleanthus to see if they might be able to give direction on where this citadel was. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and like if we could, you know, convince them to help us out. Yep. You know, if we're like overthrowing Zariel, then hey, you know. Yeah. Allies are good. Yeah, Oleanthus could have been for help. Haruman could have been to get the information from him one way or another. And Bell, you weren't sure. Um, mm -hmm. You had several options there based on the interactions you saw. Yep. All right. Well, Let's um... As for buying potions, I only have one soul coin on me, and I'm not dropping that on a damn common healing potion. So <laughs> thanks thanks anyway, Ruth. 
But I mean, we could come back and get together for tea or something, right? Like, I just don't want this <laughs> to feel too final. And we've been through some <laughs> stuff together. I mean, we've house sat. I mean, tea tea would be lovely. I've got plenty of blood now for an additive. It's it's great if you haven't tried it. You know, I'm gonna stick with like honey or <laughs> I don't know, lemon, but you know, teach their own. <laughs> I, I haven't tried the blood yet. Do you mind? <laughs> go go <laughs> like, for it. I go to stick my. It tastes like. Okay, I can see the appeal. Yeah, it tastes like blood. It it's it one of the like few blood. things that you've had that taste kind of like what you would expect, but it, it it tastes better than regular blood, almost like it has a holy <laughs> aura to it. Yeah. <laughs> Empyrean blood is is bougie. Yeah, bougie <laughs> it's got blood. Got the edible glitter in it. Yeah, when you drink out of a Voss glass bottle instead of like a Dasani <laughs> plastic one. Okay. <laughs> to be completely fair, things do taste different out of glass versus that plastic. That is true. That is mm -hmm. true. They taste better out of glass. They do. No, so. just imagine if you're drinking it out of a dirty bucket. <laughs> That's just <been laughs> washing around your car filled it's... with blood. <laughs> it even spilled out, was on the floor of the car, and then was like <laughs> pushed back in by magical. <laughs> it's been flavorized. So because it was pushed back in with magic, you only got the blood. You didn't get all the stuff that was all over the floor, right? The same way we would have gotten stuff on the floor if we had like wiped it up and wrung out the, the <laughs> towel into the bucket. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. we, can, I we can't really be sure. We can pretend. We can just hope. <laughs> My arcane is not high enough to know whether this includes some of the stuff that was all over our floor or not. <laughs> Not okay. that kind of paladin. All right, so, so are we gonna next move? So, if we try and like specifically go to a person, do you think Avernus will actually let us go to them? Sort or of, like, yeah. Think it, that, that's kind of that's, that's basically how it's how worked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Well, we just think real hard about them and start driving and hope eventually we get there. <laughs> for for a person, you're not sure. Which is because okay. you you knew the people, which is mm -hmm. why you came to Rad Ruth to see if you could find out where they were. Yeah, and now we know some nice distinct landmarks. We know like right. a big That's hill, barren hill with some like big uh, monoliths crossed over it, and we also right. know like a freaking giant volcano giant with volcano. a castle hewn into the walls, which mm -hmm. are pretty distinct landmarks to seek out. Exactly. So we don't have to just think about the person; we can think about what we saw in the scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. the flying fortress isn't you're not sure if that's really something you can target because it's a moving vehicle so mm. yeah i will come later once we all have flying machines <laughs> <laughs> so you make your way back out done with ruth yep bye ruth <laughs> i say we sell our scrap war machine parts for some money and our dragon meat parts for some money, and we all go to the spa. <laughs> oh, yes. We should have tried I to mean, sell some dragons to Red Root or dragon pieces. I mean, we're still tech. We're still here. We haven't. We're we already that, walked you know, over the goodbye. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're still like halfway at the door. Mm. Mm, we're having like a midwestern hey. goodbye now yes we, yeah, we got definitely some, are we got some dragon in the trunk do you want some <laughs> i don't think she'd rat us out we got a half dragon in the trunk if you uh i don't know who else we could sell it to without getting in a lot of trouble that's what i'm that's just what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. sure but like yeah if you want to try to see if red ruth has a use for half a dragon like or that dragon head anyway or i don't know if we were keeping that to use as, a as a very conspicuous trophy yeah, we have. I think we had some dragon meat. We had a couple dragon scales. We had a dragon head. I don't know if we had anything else. Uh, maybe I should keep a little blood? bit more meat for better spot. He seemed to really like it. <laughs> That's gonna be like for really expensive. Spot. Yeah. Yeah, you can like carve some of the meat from the exposed neck where you chopped it off. 
All right, all right. Still leaving it that bougie, nice trophy. Bougie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you gonna? And once you get spot? used to it, you know he's really cute. Like his little wings ki- are kind of like open up like a fleshy mouth, which is just more room <laughs> to give him kisses. <laughs> oh, God. Take better spot to chicken shows. Like this will be very 4-H. Uh, like the the thing at the county fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you can. <laughs> are you trying to sell? What are you trying to sell, Red Ruth? Well, I know I like grabbed. I think I grabbed like two scales for myself. One scale. I grabbed a scale. Um. So yeah, like as we're like exiting Midwestern style, I'll be like, um, we also like killed some dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do anything with dragon parts in potion making? What do you got? I got some scales. Let, let me see what you got. Okay. Uh, I think I put it in the bag of holding. So I, I pull out, I pull out a single scale and I like just present it to her. I'm like it's kind of pretty. What color is it? Um, I don't remember which dragon I got it from, but. <laughs> <laughs> um can i just like roll a dice and then sure go ahead and roll a d3 okay. uh, i think it was green red no and black and it black. was green blue and black, black right green blue yes. and black yep so green, and black. you have a green scale oh so... from vermilius that he's that little yeah. rascal <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you pull out the the green scale. Um, Well, I'm sure I could find a use for it. How about I trade you this scale for a common potion? I I think that's something we could arrange. Uh, So do you just want a? So do you just want a healing potion? Yeah, just a healing potion. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, she she hands over uh, most healing potions you've seen um, are typically a bright red color common. Yeah, you know, healing potions. This is very dark and murky. OK, so I'll give this to someone else, you know, what? when they need healing. <laughs> um, and <laughs> go ahead and note that this potion is from Red Ruth. Okay. Oh my god. Ruth Something terrible is going to happen to whoever uses this potion. Maybe we just give this potion to whoever gets uh, resurrected with the messed up blood diamonds. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's so <laughs> Two wrongs will make a right. <laughs> They'll right. be fine. Yep. <laughs> be okay. <laughs> so, uh, Anything else you wanted to do with Red Ruth while you're here? I'm going to hold on to my scales for a bit. There is, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I don't want to trade them for just a potion. Are you, are you hanging on to the head? The head I, gave Mary Pin. I gave it to Mary Pin, so that's yep. their call. Um, I don't I remember keeping the head. I just puppeted the head. I don't keep heads that I puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it could have oh, been shit. left behind then. <gasps> no, it, it, it wouldn't have left behind a head. Are you kidding? So <laughs> you still have I thought head. someone decided to trophy it on the front of the war machine. Oh, no, we're not we that stupid. Do. Someone wanted to tie it on the front of our war machine, Please but I don't know if we actually that did that. <laughs> who uh, who paid attention? Well. <laughs> I d- did not have rope left because I have my little baby Bjorn for my egg. And, and also... I've got my baby Bjorn for small sake. <laughs> so I guess we just left the head behind. I hope I mean, Mon could... is smart. The idea was proposed, but I think uh, I assume we just loaded it into the little cargo hold in the back of the demon grinder. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I had... assume this isn't something we want to advertise. Well, we were talking about <laughs> selling the parts for money, so why would we leave behind a high-ticket item? Yeah, you can have Our it. dragon has a high-ticket item? You're hoping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so did we leave the rest of the bodies just there we yep. didn't have very just, much time and just we decided bed. to get right out of there we did not want to hang out yeah mm -hmm. yeah you bolted great yeah great great so yeah you not have like to head in the cargo happen. hold so nothing's gonna happen we'll be fine so holding you on to whatever now that? What will, uh, she, what will she offer us for the head? Because I don't really <laughs> want to drive around with a dragon head. <laughs> she likes yeah. heads. She's got those heads all around her neck. I mean, yeah. this could be. Who knows what she could do with this head? Make, make us an offer, Red Ruth. Um, if you're at all interested. <laughs> give her one scale. Then we're like, do you want a whole dragon head? <laughs> 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 now that you're here. Let me see. Um... That was a test to make sure she wouldn't rat us out right away. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. For, for the head, being a snitch, I'll give you two greater healing potions. I think for Milius here is worth three greater healing potions. Yeah. If he yeah. could still talk, he'd say the same. Uh, go. <laughs> Actually, I can make him talk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, go. I don't do that. I don't start doing that. <laughs> Go ahead and Everyone make a persuasion me. check, Ash. Okay. Evil Ash. It's a way to spend your crit. Yep. <laughs> you know what? I like you. We'll do three. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Nice one, vibing. So, uh, again, these aren't the red that you're used to. Um, go ahead and make sure that whoever takes these notes that these are from Red Ruth. Oh, man. What's going to mess us up? All right. Who's going to be taking them? I mean, we can divide them since there's three. Yeah. I can take one. All right. Mine's taking one. It's all bad that. On top of the other weird one. Who's taking it the other? I guess I'll take one. <laughs> Why not? Uh I mean I'll 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 take one if nobody else wants to claim it. I like how I don't have any healing powers. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, you go ahead and you take it. So does Ash have one? No, uh, I do nope. not. Um I okay, do have I'll... a front left wound closure, so I'm good for healing. Yeah, Petra. Uh, Ash, or Petra, Alsace, and Mon each have a greater, and Mon also has a just regular healing. Nice. Eight. Thank you. Should Fair I add that to the inventory myself, or? Um, I'll make notes as well. Okay. I don't know that you'll be using them this session, so. Well, if it comes down to it, yep. we know how, what to do with it. Well, let's just like get hurt for fun and see what they taste like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but these are the gross ones, so I think Alsace is definitely going to have to be hurt pretty bad to use it. But you know, <laughs> potions are for. Yep. Potion. Uh... Not potion of growth. Anyway, I'm having a hard time finding it here yeah. on my D and D Beyond sheet to add. Potions, healing potions are tricky um i've got them noted so i can okay. make sure that they get added later um, oh there it is them. potion of healing greater there you go um God. so you got rid of the dragon head a scale got yourself some potions and are ready to head out yes yeah uh, well, let's start thinking about uh... <laughs> <laughs> this whole time, Mary Penn's just been pulling mushrooms from their bag, like their popcorn. I'm just snacking. <laughs> Your own. You mean tongue. I'm just snack? Uh, I'm just snacking. I think the one mushroom effect was everything you say sounds sarcastic now. <laughs> 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 All right, so what are we thinking of? Are we going straight to our next destination? Are we taking a shopping trip? 
Well, I suppose if you wanted to... Wait, do we have any cars to sell off? I feel like we have one... You are one of hauling. those smaller ones. Yes. To sell. You're hauling the accident, which is uh, pretty totaled. Mm-hmm. Accidents in the rough shape. The hippo <laughs> is sitting at 130 out of 200 um, mm-hmm. hit points, so it's pretty rough. You don't have the means to fix that yourself. So, if you want to. Um, what's the name of the golden war machine? Uh, Golden Doom. And Golden Doom. Golden Doodle. Yeah, let's rename it. Cool. <laughs> or Goldilocks. Pimp Mobile. Yeah. No, we could name it the Lulu. Because <gasps> they're because both golden and sparkly. <gasps> yeah, big Lulu. Big Lulu. Big, Lulu. big tusks on the That's front. That's name. It's big Lulu. Everybody call it Big Lulu. <laughs> Golden Big Doom Lulu. is at 111 out of 200. Okay. Big Lulu. The Big Lulu. The chicken tenders are now in the Big Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken tenders, we have the accident, the Big Lulu, and the hippo in our form. <laughs> okay. We're not going to have the accident for very long, though. No. Because well, yeah. it had Probably an accident. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all right well so, i guess we should head to the emporium too. to get our stuff fixed up before we yeah before, before we, we head out venture i just want to know how lulu feels about the big lulu yeah we should probably ask lulu before we make that decision <laughs> it. um it it doesn't really look like me like <laughs> just because we're gold doesn't mean we're the same <laughs> Oh, I feel so oh, bad now. It's a very special episode of Descended to Avernus. Oh, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> but, Lulu, what if we were to draw a picture of you on the side of it? You know, kind of like a la World War II, like planes that would have like a pinup on the side. <laughs> okay, okay. But, Lulu, it's not just that it's gold. It's also that it's like really strong and like, also, it it it's like really. What's the word when you're really beefy, good at defend? Uh, beefy, yeah. Beefy, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you wanted. Okay. <laughs> In that it's resistant to a lot of damage, like you are. So, like, <laughs> it's a compliment. Go it's ahead and make a persuasion beefy. check with oh, disadvantage no. because oh. that was entirely sarcastic. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> hey Lulu, what if? What if? And stabs and like your udders are. are sticking out. <laughs> Beefy Lulu. Man, God why are you being so oh, mean to Lulu? <laughs> I, I don't know that Mary Penn ate a mushroom that's making them sound sarcastic. I think they're just being mean to Lulu. Why are you being so mean to I Lulu? I just think Mary Lulu? Penn's being extra funny. I'm just oh, like, uh, <laughs> Wait, um, is it control or I always um, forget? I think it's alt. No, it might be control. I don't remember. I think it's control. It's shift is advantage, control is disadvantage. It's alt. That's still not bad. Or... Um, let's see, where's. Oh, <laughs> Okay, but if Lulu has really good insight, Lulu knows that Mary Penn is not actually being sarcastic. It's yep. just somehow the tone of their voice. <laughs> yep. It's the mushroom. It's the mushroom. You, you've always been <laughs> nice to me, so I, I think you actually mean what you're saying. It just sounds... doesn't sound nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we can name it the holly that. fent then instead of the big lulu that way it's you know we it's acknowledge that lulu's the not fin? a literal machine that can break yeah. it's in honor of lulu that's what we're yeah okay <laughs> and then i'm like secretly I'm like and then when she dies it's in memory of lulu so just... <laughs> <laughs> you're always so mean <laughs> to my perfect Requires no change. Holly Fent. She doesn't know that you're evil yet. Just wait. 
He's gonna he hasn't accidentally you. shot you yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you load up and you make your way to the Emporium. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, can mm-hmm. I get a D10 from someone? I'll do it. Five. Um, so let me check ours. So the demon grinder only had, um, was that empty when you got to, oh. by the time you got to the brambles, golden doom still had 22 hours. So you have well, coins. Golden holly fat has 22 hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the golden uh, panty pants. I'll give it one spell slot because I, I like to keep one around in case I need, we need to fight. Yep. Make your con save, and that's a fifth yeah, so level. Let's... Yes. Uh, uh, that's only a 10, so I'm not going to have that spell slot. Nope. No. But it, did, it did get five <laughs> hours put into it. That's good. Uh, wait, 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 yeah. but you made a save and I'm always in there with you. So would a 13 have helped you? Nope. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, well. Should we put more in or do you think that might be enough to get to the Emporium? And if, well, I mean, since I, I just rolled no five on a 1d10 and a metagame level, I think it might be just enough. Uh, I, am, I don't think all states would know that. Yeah. I am going to go <laughs> check the door real quick. Um, if you just just let me know what you discuss for extra spell sure. slots. And we just said I'm going to grab a warmer shirt. Be right back. While he does that, I am going to go <laughs> wash my hands super quickly. While they do that, I'm going to go grab a soda pop. <laughs> impromptu break okay i'm gonna sit right here i'm gonna sit right here cool. I'll patiently i was thinking like maybe i'll go grab like suki but i don't want her in my room right now because she's just gonna be all fussy fussy and angie tony's gonna come back and be like where did everyone go where did everyone go hi we have full control of the twitch stream right now Actually, let me oh. check the Twitch stream. <laughs> you can reach. It says we're online. Yeah, we, we are online. Oh, what? 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 Oh, what? Hello. Yeah, I didn't take us offline. I know. Because I was going to be right back. Walked away. <laughs> like, wait, hold on. While he's doing that, I'm going to do this. That's all right. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, just a quick delivery. Wanted to make sure the boys were good. There are a doorbell when I can't hear anything. Also, our doorbell doesn't work. Exactly. So they're the doorbell. Uh, but yeah, thank you for everyone who's been watching. Hope you've been enjoying the session. Porcupine hasn't been here in a while, so Ash hasn't yeah, thrown that's... anything into the back of their head. This is that's because they probably woke up like Ten minutes ago, <laughs> Actually, I think I can confirm that. Howdy. I really need to just make a spreadsheet for some of this data because my notes get so scratchy <laughs> that it gets hard to tell what's going on sometimes. Mon, how many how many soul coins did you have 
down for yourself? One or two? Two. Okay. And Petra would also be two. Because I I wrote the two over the one, so I can't couldn't tell if I tried to erase the two and go um, to one. Two and or... make it a one or to the best of my knowledge, two. there's eleven soul coins in total for the party, and I'm carrying three of them. I've got ten. Two for oh. Alsace, three for Ash, one for Mary Pen, two for Mon, and two for Petra. Baby kitty. Oh, look, I'm not a too. terrible oh. cat. I've never jumped on the bird cage and tried to knock over a shelf. Is that what was happening <laughs> earlier? Yes. Oh, God. There's, not, there's nothing even on top of the bird cage. Not even a bird. He just wants to be oh. terrible for no reason. He was just like, No, caged. Socrates is going to play with us. Socrates is a great wizard. We're really Aww. fortunate. Socrates <laughs> is Haruman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, Socrates would be like the whoever that uh, arch wizard is that we were very more kind of trying to mm-hmm. avoid going to visit. <laughs> we all just Christmas. decided ahead of time that Morton Kynan was going to be a huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> like, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, I just figure if you're an arch wizard, then you have arcane powers that put you on my ga- godly status. And mm-hmm. most oh, back have- in Greyhawk, we never had to worry about blah blah. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Next, she's gonna start telling us about the wheel of time and shit. Fucking <laughs> asshole! <laughs> Get your dragon lance ass out of here. <laughs> this is Faerun. I mean, it's not, but <laughs> but yeah. So that's why we're like, we don't, we don't want to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll go kill some dragons. Full disclosure: I don't know anything about the other D and D setting aside from the Forgotten Realms. So. I mean, I know about. Uh... I know about the the city of the of portals. Mm-hmm. Right. Sigil, with a, with a which hard I always G. want to call sigil, but it's sigil. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're back. Let's go dungeon good. those yeah. dragons. Emporium so, time. Five hours. Did you want to put more in? Uh, I would like to put in uh this one first level spell slot. Okay, go ahead and roll that Constitution save and throw. Uh, I will open this delicious. Maybe well, I should use real dice today. Your <laughs> Not so, sponsored or affiliated. One does get yeah. pulled in, uh, but in a second one gets consumed as well. So there's six oh, hours gee. in there, but you use two level one spell slots for that. Maybe okay. I might start just using these baby ones because they're okay. the closest set. I- <laughs> yep, just, just let me just let me know what you roll. We oui. okay. So you make your way back to the emporium. You know the direction because you have your coins. They guide you. Uh, oh yeah, huh? After about four hours of travel, you uh, come up upon a scorched chasm about a mile deep, with and you. As you're driving alongside it, you see that there is an iron placard placard alongside it between the chasm and the road. Uh, You can't read what it says while driving, so... (laughs) Like a tourist stop? Yeah. (laughs) Like, uh, here in 1853. um, (laughs) You pull the car up close enough just to read it. Like, uh, you don't see hell tourist stops every day. Is yeah, so, there one of those places where it has the binoculars that you have to put a coin in? To <laughs> there is not. Uh, um, but it does It does run for quite a while. Um, as you're driving paths and slow down to kind of read what the plaque says, it's written in Infernal. Uh, so those that can understand it, it says, this marks the site will where... Wilberto the Witty taunted Tiamat for the last time. Mark or what? what? I don't read a lot of Infernal. <laughs> yeah, I ask Ash what it says. <laughs> I call um, some guy's outfit. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> it says to taunt Tiamat. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was already planning on it, so. We already, like, kind of murdered some of her cultists, so. <laughs> you did murder 
some baby dragons. <laughs> how much? How much does she really care about those cultists, though? I mean, I they seem they're pre- they're pretty big nerds, honestly. Cultists <laughs> care a lot about her. God, that but... lich arm guy. So dramatic. <laughs> Does it go both ways? Is what I'm saying. Oh, man, no, don't shit talk your bestie. <laughs> My bro. I think they might be done now, or they might be on the rocks anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be friends again. I think a lot of convincing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, lot, a lot of couples counseling there. Does Petra <laughs> actually read it out for the rest of the class? Yes, Petra reads it. Petra reads it. <laughs> And it's like, well, clearly they weren't. They weren't what? Who, was it Humberto the Witty? Uh, it is Wilberto the Witty. Wilberto mm, the Wilberto. Witty. Well, I some part of me is immediately imagining that Wilberto the Witty was probably some bard. Because who else is going to be like, I'm going to tell this hilarious joke about Tiamat to Tiamat. To Tiamat. I'm sure it will go fine. <laughs> I'm going to taunt this dragon real quick. Hold on. Real quick. Also, it, it's implied that he, they had done it several times before. Because it's mm. said for the last for time. For the last no? time. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> so point. this guy was just going around heckling a dragon. <laughs> right? It sounds really familiar. Is this one of the people that we heard a story about from Bernie? Or no? Yeah, I don't think hmm. so. I don't know if I actually gave you any stories from Bernie because I'm really bad at coming up with that kind of stuff. So <laughs> just roll on the old, old random story generator. Yep. Um, Hell yeah. Go Wilberto. Well, I think I'll say so just say like, okay, well, I will remember to step to the side if I ever taught TMI. <laughs> um, I would definitely about ask half a mile. Mon. I'd yeah. be like, Mon, have you ever heard of this Wilberto the Witty? You know, I haven't, but I think he's my new dad. <laughs> <laughs> Group dad. <laughs> so that was what four hours in. So a uh, couple hours later. Uh, you end up rolling up onto the Emporium just as the Demon Grinder is running out of fuel. So Demon Grinder is empty. The Golden Holly Fant has uh, 16 hours left. Okay. And you are at the... Go ahead. I was going to say, time to get these babies repaired. And then, were we going to try and sell, like, the accident? or just, Yeah, like, they're, she's not coming back. Yeah. Okay. For, parts, For yeah. scrap. Anyone, okay. I was like, anyone want to buy this broken <laughs> <laughs> trash bike? <laughs> the, the memories that go with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. limited edition. Uh. <laughs> Uh, we'll actually go to the Emporium map, so we have all of the shops up. Replenish the egg stock. Yeah. Egg you still mushrooms. have the egg in your baby bjorn. Now that I got a chicken, I don't even care about the eggs anymore, but let's see if there's any snacks at Better Spot Wands. <gasps> I Lulu's wonder if Better Spot Wands is soul larva. <laughs> Baked mm. beans. So, yep, you get to the Emporium. It's the familiar site. Uh, you know that you have, you know the stores that you have available to you. You know, you have the Infernal Rapture if you wanted to spend some coins. You have the Ironworks and the Forge that you could talk to about junking the, the Devil's Ride. How much was it for a spa day again? Was it one soul coin each? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And you now have Krikendolt as a companion as well, so you can decide oh, whether to take him in. <laughs> Are we gonna sell Krikendolt? Is that what you're <laughs> no? Oh, Krikendolt is my Kryken... friend in goodness. <laughs> if we get a We're... good price, <laughs> Krikendolt is not good. property. Krikendolt is a real boy. <laughs> Craig and Dalton and I are like the Venture Brothers, except for goodness. 
They're probably what? even going to have like a like a signal. <laughs> which one's Hank and which one's Dean? <laughs> well, I don't know. That one's hard to say. The unfortunate truth is I'm probably probably Hank. I don't remember which one's which. I think Hank is the blonde one and Dean is the smart one. That sounds right. So, yeah. Is there anything you wanted to do in particular? I know someone probably wants to go egg shopping. We need to do three things, and yet yeah, egg shopping can be at the end of the list. We need to scrap the accident. We need to repair the uh, hippo, Ollie and fan. we need to repair Ollie. the golden hippo, hippo Ollie foot, golden olifant. Thank so you. Those are the three things we got to do. The earlier. accident first, because then we can get money for the accident to spend. Yes, excellent idea. I guess that's on you, Ash. It is your, it is your baby. Yeah, I'll go sell it for money. Now, do we really need two vehicles, or should we go down size for just one? I mean, just so the, looking at it, the golden olifant's a lot better, but it doesn't run on spell slots, so it would get expensive to drive it. Uh, that's where we sell the accident, get some money. Never have and, to worry about spell slots again. And you <laughs> also have... There is I mean, there's a that... reason why everybody else uses soul coins to power their war machines. It's just easier. I'm not disputing mm-hmm. that. Uh... But then, again, we also weren't wanted to save up for, like, mechs, didn't we? I feel like that's not really a realistic goal. Not, At okay. the rate we're collecting soul coins. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I, I mean, you could Nick forge soul coins. <laughs> bumped off the bank of Avernus. Is so... there a bank in Avernus? We're in hell, of course. Hell, of course, there's a bank. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we're we're in lawful hell, right? This is like the place populated by devils primarily. I guarantee you, there's a bank. So the demon grinder can only carry eight medium creatures. So you are getting a little bit crowded with the party plus Krykendolt plus small says plus lulu plus the two infernal chickens you're kind of mm-hmm. at capacity we just had a dragon head in there too <laughs> i can I sell krikendol to... and we don't have to worry about being <laughs> overloaded oh, i'm yeah. selling krikendol and um. uh, <laughs> krikendol's my friend krikendol krikendol is part of the team i mean Selling is bad, but if Krikendolt just like lost us at the Emporium and we didn't realize that he wasn't a demon grinder while we were pulling out, I don't... and he gave Astra us money make before us he left, <laughs> he Astra Astra would make us go back to get Krikendolt. No Home Alone situations here. <laughs> where we just like accidentally throw away Krikendolt's ticket, and oh, we don't no. realize until we're on the plane. You know, um, I I only realized the ticket was thrown away like a couple years ago after we watched it like five thousand times. Like, oh, I that's didn't. why we zoomed into the trash can scene. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, we could have two. You know, that way we're an actual proper war band and not just a war machine, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, two is still a stretch for a band, but you know, it's like a mini war band. You know, it's a <laughs> start duet. Mm-hmm. We should at least ask if somebody here could modify the Hollyfant. I mean, somebody here might be able to make it run off of spell slots. We or don't know that it's just that chick. Paint a Lulu pinup girl on the side. Equally important. <laughs> now I'm just picturing sexy like Hollyfant. Lulu, but with like sexy legs. <laughs> <laughs> just completely normal, just a pair of legs. <laughs> but with like legs and fishnets and high heels. Like just otherwise just Lulu on the side. Oh my god. She's smoking a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Googling oh elephant and fishnets and it's surprisingly not sexy. <laughs> surprisingly. I feel like as far as personas go, elephant is probably gonna be a rarer choice. Ah um, oh, shit, that's the keyword I need. <laughs> elephant persona? You need to be. Okay. Oh thinking. nope, that was a mistake. Gotta <laughs> just throw out the computer now. <laughs> I am thou, thou art I. Elephant persona. Uh, okay. So okay. as, uh, as you're discussing, <laughs> as you're discussing, 
mm-hmm. what to do with the uh, war machines. You know, scrap the accident, then do you keep the both? Um, you see Mahadi. So I'll, I'll say you're outside still at the war machines, kind of discussing. You got Ash kind of like framing. You know, we could put the pin up Lulu right here. Oh my God. Right on Lulu's the like, what? Sexy long... yet tasteful. Like, right. But I don't have long legs. Um... <laughs> you will. We're done painting this. It'll be great. It's a world of fantasy, Lulu. And, <laughs> and you see Mahadi um, rushing towards you. Oh no. Because of our brilliant art. We're not using magic in here or anything, right? I don't think we're in trouble. Uh, no, I'll say so we'll wave right? we'll wave him down and say, Oh hello, Mahadi. Uh something wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing's wrong. You you found my war machine. What? Oh, You're what? This is yours. <laughs> yeah. How do we know he's telling the truth? Wait, hold on, he might give us a shit ton of money. This guy's rich. Proof of Sorry. registration. Well, let's, I, let's 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 hear him out. So, you mean... Feanor, I'm guessing is she, is she alive? Did, did... As far as we know, mostly okay. she was pretty close to dead, but then she magically disappeared. So, tell me about it. We <laughs> we used to date, and she stole. Yeah, she stole. My body got Doom. ghosted. Oh. <laughs> that's that's rough, Mahadi. I'm not surprised you couldn't pull her. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think you could do a lot better, my Mahadi. I'm going to be totally honest. I mean, I was up close and personal with Feynor, and I mean, she's okay. I, did she Feynor. steal that umbrella, too? No, the umbrella was hers. She's... Oh, okay. She has a very interesting aesthetic. It's part of what <laughs> drew me to her, but she grew tired of the Emporium and just drove off with with my baby. Can I do a insight check, just real subtle like, to see if I think he's telling the truth about this being his car? Yeah. All right. Ooh, 26. Yeah, he's he's being honest. This this is his car. He's kind of you're not sure how he feels about Feanor still being alive or not after he mm. ditched her and stole his, <laughs> or after she ditched him and stole his uh, war machine. But yeah, mm. this was his. Uh, well, finders keepers, Mahadi. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold you? on. Well, I, finders I, fee. I, I wholly understand. So as a reward, I would like to compensate you all with a... For the a... Hmm? For the <laughs> <laughs> no. I was going to say with a uh, day at the spa. Mm, been there, done that. Which is worth seven soul coins upon itself. Six. Mm-hmm. What if he? Um, in addition to another five soul coins. Oh shit! Oh, that's how much? Dope. How much did we get when we sold our first war machine? It was five, right? When you sold the tormentor, you got five, I believe. Okay. And that was like roughly half of its proper price. Uh, a third ish. A third? Yep. Mm. So if Kraken Dork rides... doesn't join us in the spot, could we get six additional? No, we're not gonna leave them out. has to join us. Kraken is part of the team and thus far is the only part of the team that hasn't seen everybody else's genitals. Does so... small face uh, stay in the uh, car? Small face like stay in the car? What if... no, small face no. has to come. Small face won't stay in the car. The small face is going to see our genitals. Oh, is boy. what you're telling me. That's your Mahadi, Mahadi, we would love to return this to you, but that this is a fine automobile, and I'm not sure that's quite enough. Say 
keep them out of soul coins. That sounds good. But maybe just whenever we're in town, you could compass day passes to the spa. Make a persuasion check. Okay. Does anybody want to help me here? I'll, I'll help. help. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll let uh, Mon help. So I mean, go ahead and the roll the with advantage. All right. This is a Mon's high DC. 28. I'll do every other visit. Ooh, we're haggling at the bazaar, people. <laughs> well, I mean, we could just come and go a lot, but, you know, in the spirit of this deal, I think I think we have a deal. <laughs> I think that's fair, given that this was my hottie's vehicle to begin with. It's the right thing to do to return it. Yeah. Oh, it is, certainly, certainly. But, you know, we're also <laughs> losing out on a lot by handing it over. And Mahadi, being such a... Uh, upstanding business person clearly recognizes that of course mm -hmm. of course does this mean we uh, get free food i mean when you visit the emporium you get a full course meal or when you're in yeah. the spa okay it's like we could have been getting food this whole time <laughs> yeah so <laughs> a reminder i stay at the spa the next morning you have the benefits of a hero's feast yeah. Yay! What are the benefits of a hero's feast? Because I forget. Um, let me look it up again. I think so it increases your max HP temporarily, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think you... that I rolled though last time it was like two. I'm like two HP. <laughs> <laughs> a hero's feast. Um You're cured of all disease and poison, become immune to poison and being frightened, and make all wisdom saving throws with advantage. And your hit point max is increased by 2d10 for 24 That's hours. It. Which is why I got two and it was particularly shitty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. definitely, definitely good. Yeah, it's, I'd say that's a good deal. Good and we're deal. still getting the soul coins, right? Yes. So you got five soul coins. Um, Every other visit, so every other daily visit, so you can't go every day. Right, um, right. Just because that's a little OP to have a constant uh, <laughs> hero's feast. Hero. Oh, no, totally. <laughs> <Let's> just <pick laughs> breakfast, I just I know? just wanted to argue for a little more, you know, I'll say he's going to go for it. Because he go. likes that spa. He's a big fan of that spa. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it, as great as Bernie is, the spa really rejuvenates your hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, Ber Bernie has limited materials. Yeah. Like, she's actually here on this plane, whereas the spa goes to, like, the pleasure planet or wherever. So. <laughs> also, yeah. just going to put this out there. Why was my hottie dating Feanor when my hottie could have potentially been dating Bernie, who is pretty rad? <laughs> um, um, I don't know. He did say Bernie he story. was. Huh? That's a Bernie story. <laughs> <laughs> he he did he did point make note that he's kind of attracted to Feanor's aesthetic, the goth aesthetic. So mm. <laughs> Bernie so, is not goth. <laughs> Red Red Ruth. That's that's who she he should be with next. <laughs> he should make that happen. <laughs> so oh my as. Gosh. As you're uh, talking to him and um, closing the deal on returning his war machine, getting your finder's fee, you see um, coming in behind Mahadi out towards the Avernus Wasteland, you see a flying fortress approaching. Oh my god, Brandy is playing Zariel next time. <laughs> For real? <laughs> we didn't even have to find her. Zariel has a goth aesthetic. What if we arrange a meet cute between my hottie and Zariel? They both have like the lay of their life, and everybody feels a lot more relaxed yeah. in hell. Mm -hmm. And Zariel stops wanting to like kill people and shit. She's just like. <laughs> 
Dolls. So, Dolls does the problem. Flying Fortress look like the Flying Who's Fortress? Who's Orcus? Um, Orcus? <laughs> you, like, the, like the killer whales? You know where <laughs> Orcas know. are? No, Orcus, isn't he a pit fiend? Or um, Orcas, like a pod of killer whales. Mm-hmm. You know Orcus. where Orcas are. As a demon lord and master of the undead, typically described of having the head and legs of a goat, with ram-like horns, a bloated body, bat-like wings, and a long tail. Mm, That's cool. Where Orcus Sounds is like... right this moment. Yeah. What Sounds is like Orcus doing devil. right this moment? <laughs> Go Tell ahead. Orcus is on doing. the john. Go ahead and roll me a d twenty. Orcus. Regan hates that mushroom. Uh, currently, um, the lazy boy watching the show. <laughs> Where's so currently, Orcus isn't doing anything noteworthy. He's not on the john. Um, <laughs> he, he is wandering whatever level of hell he is on, which I can't find right now. But yeah, you know where he is. <laughs> Okay, and it's uh, not so the John. like a that's so raven moment where I'm like zooming <laughs> into the eyeball. <laughs> but, oh my but god. Mary that's... Penn doesn't have any pupils. <laughs> Mary Penn's a tiefling, so it just like is a screen full of gold. <laughs> How did I not realize all along that Raven Simone was like the primary character inspiration for Mary Penn? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Um, does this flying fortress look like the one we just saw in that vision? Of it does. Zero? And oh, shit. And as <laughs> and as you are conversing with Mahadi, uh, you can hear the thrum of the war of the fortress floating in, and he turns around and his eyes get big and he starts he he just dashes away and you can see He's kind of clearing a path to the rapture, making sure that there is a way he is preparing for the arrival of the fortress. We're oh. going to see Zariel's genitals. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, wait, the spa so might he, be reserved tonight. He well, knew that she was coming. That's just not her like showing up, being like, mm, I think I'll visit the Emporium. Uh, so planned thing. Surprised. Oh, It'll be okay. No, no fighting's gonna be allowed in the Emporium. We don't have the, no the magic. Dragons on our. <laughs> I mean, honestly, head. what does she care about us? Like, we're so beneath her radar right now. Unless she knows that That's we've been true. like looking in on her. Oh I don't shit! Think she knows no, though we may be dragon. so beneath her radar. But what if she recognizes Lulu? Lulu? My recognize oh, Lulu. Shit. Yeah. So. So the war machine is approaching and landing. What are you all doing in in light of this? Oh shit! All right. Well, you uh, have... maybe better spot will be a free range chicken today, and we're going to hide Lulu in my handbag because you know what? I'm stoked that her we're going to be reuniting her with her friends soon, but maybe not under these conditions. You do also have the war machine. That is we not could, open. We could put Lou, or no, we could put Better Spot on a dog leash or on like one of those cat leashes with harnesses. We'll have to buy one, but yeah. <laughs> I bet Artie has one. So just focusing on the moment right now. As, okay. the, as um, this is landing, what mm. are you all doing standing by your war machine and the Golden Doom? Okay, yeah, Lulu's going inside our war machine. She needs to be protected. Okay. Yep. So I'm I know. Gonna stare at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm just sort of gonna stand outside the war machine and stare <laughs> in awe. Yeah. <laughs> I've been Petra... playing a lot. Of... <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say Petra's gonna be looking between my hottie, who usually is so put together, suddenly going like wide-eyed and rushing. 
and then looking at the the flying <laughs> the the flying fortress and it's like oh okay well it looks like we're going to be having a potential chat sooner than may have been expected but hopefully the rule of no fighting and no spells stands wouldn't think I don't on know it, if, but I don't know if rules apply to <laughs> the ruler of Avernus. <laughs> the, yeah. Are you saying that the ruler of Avernus is going to be suffering from affluenza and is not going to be held accountable <laughs> for her actions? <laughs> um, well, I've been playing a lot of Hitman recently, and I know the best way not to be noticed is just to engage with the environment in some way. So I think Alsace is going to see if Bernie can fit him in real quick for a blowout so that he can just because <laughs> he'll have a great view of what's going on in front of the Infernal Rapture if he's seated at Bernie's. Well, Bernie's doesn't, when you go into Bernie's, the you go into the tent and the flap closes, you're closed yeah. off. Uh, all right, I'll just act like I'm browsing at General Goods then. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, as the fortress lands, um, Zeriel steps out into the open market um, Mahadi rushing back to the entrance to greet Zeriel. Uh, you see a varied responses for, a varied response from the Denzians in the marketplace. Some bow, some grovel, some try to make themselves dis disappear into the crowds. Uh, as you listen to, in on the conversation, you see that you aren't the only ones piqued by the discourse. And I don't know if I've shown you Zeriel, so let me. Hold the... Other than on the, the loading screen. Yeah, <laughs> on the cover of the damn book. Um, Is Zeriel no, gigantic? Because that's always what I got the sense of <laughs> on the loading screen. Um, she is large. Wingspan, you know. Oh. Large lady. Lord. So you see that uh, her her left hand is gone, and in its place is a flail. I mean, it's not gone. It's gone. Not gone. <laughs> you know exactly where it is. <laughs> yeah, you should you just do. like try and give it back to her while she's at the spa. It's really? not get on serious radar I get right now. Benefits from it. <laughs> hey, I think you dropped this. <laughs> so, you see her exit the fortress um, with a couple of burly devils by her side, Mahadi rushing to meet her. Mahadi. Uh, w welcome, Lord Zeriel. This is an unexpected pleasure. We are honored by your presence. Uh, Zeriel, I I hate intercommentary. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Paint us a picture. <laughs> uh, you may dispense with the pleasantries, Rakasha. I am here to put you back on schedule. I I assure you, Lord Zeriel, my my men are working as fast as they can. Perhaps I can find new ways to motivate them. I, I tell you that the supply trains from the other li layers will arrive as planned. And she holds up her finger to Mahadi. As Modeus does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation. But he asks the impossible. I need more men to defend them from the raiders and riffraff then perhaps you can tell him yourself when he arrives. Mahari, a bit alarmed. As Asmodeus is coming here? That is correct, Rakasha, and he is most displeased with your apparent lack of progress. Uh, we shall double our efforts. I hope so, Rakasha, for your sake. Asmodeus is not as forgiving as I am. And she resumes walking into the Infernal Rapture. Well, I guess we just learned that my hottie isn't a djinn. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Azariel kept calling him a Rakasha. Mm. Yeah. And uh, 
We also learned that we're definitely not getting into the infernal rapture because not only is Zeriel there, but Asmodeus is going to be hanging out there as well. So, well, from what you know of the <laughs> infernal rapture, is it's not a one room spa. <laughs> They're when not going to went... shut it down for the very special party that is happening inside. <laughs> well, so did Mahadi have a thumb on the wrong side of his hand this whole time, and none of us noticed? Huh? We're cautious that they have thumbs on the wrong side of their hands or something weird like that when they um, change forms. Rakashas can change forms to whatever they want. Are those the sexy cat people, like the tiger demon spirits? Yeah. Um, if I can spell it, uh, I might have been pronouncing it wrong as well. Where are you? Ooh, are you gonna get the the pronunciation thing going? Hezro. <laughs> Hezro. Hezro. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I'm sharing out to the... We just need a really naive party member to be like, is nothing here what it seems? Are we in a land of lies? <laughs> Rakshasa. Uh, Rakshasa. You have to say with the jazz hands or the pronunciation's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they are able to disguise self, so I don't know anything about thumbs mm. on the wrong side. <laughs> That's not something I'm aware of. You don't read monster manuals for fun because <laughs> <laughs> just if I read them, I'm not gonna retain everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um but yeah, so you got a little bit of a Zerial interaction there. Um, from what you remember of the rapture last time is that it is um, an interdimensional space. You don't know where it leads to or where you're going, but there were multiple rooms. And when you went into your spa room, it was fitted for your party for all of your pleasantries, so. Hmm. Well, let me just make sure I got the recap of what that interaction was like. Mahadi is running, helping to run supplies from other realms, presumably to Avernus, and they're behind schedule. And uh, Zariel is displeased about that, and presumably Asmodeus will be even more displeased about that. Is that roughly what that was that about? Is, yeah, that is what she was saying. Um, okay. And it sounds like the supply trains are running behind schedule because they're being harried by something and they don't have enough men. Is that what they were saying? Uh, Which is maybe something that, you know, you yes, could get involved said, with to find out more. He needed more men to defend the supply trains from raiders and riffraff. Interdimensional raiders and riffraff. Sweet. <laughs> or maybe we could join the raiders and riffraff. Maybe we could be the Raiders and Rift Track. Rift Riff Tracks? Raiders and Rift Tracks. tracks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you as of right now, you have the two you have the one war machine that needs to be repaired. You have the devil's ride you want to sell. You are down to one machine at the moment. Uh, so if you wanted something else, you could also shop for that while you're here. And I will drop Wallet points of costs in the chat from last I time. I think Petra's going to slip into the uh, war machine very quickly and let Lulu know if Lulu was not already aware that the reason we've shoved Lulu into the war machine and encouraged her to hide is that Zariel is here right now. But you in... would have had time to tell her okay. that. All right. How did she respond? Because, I mean, this would be the first time she would have been near Zeriel in ages. Um, she's uncertain. And because she's she wants to help Zeriel, but also she doesn't know how to at this moment. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, um, Bon and I should just be the ones assuming you're holding the soul coins for now, right? The ones that we got from Mahati. Unless somebody else so wants to carry more. All right. <laughs> So I'll I'll put I'll just give Ash all of them. So Ash all right. eight. <laughs> Ash is just gonna like piss off and start a casino or something. <laughs> just like I like it down here. I got all your soul coins. Bye. And, so that's the thing. We're not sure if Ash is just like extra tough or if Ash is extra masochistic <laughs> <laughs> because we don't actually know that Ash is evil at this point. No, nope. <laughs> we're like yeah. <laughs> just Ash. Just, I just think. Throw... I think Mary Penn is the only one who has actually experienced the downfall of carrying more coins than they could manage. So. Well, I think Ash did before, right? Isn't that why Ash developed a fear of uh, fake oh, creatures? Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good times. So. Um, yeah. So we need a new vehicle or we need to get rid of the iron boots. So. <laughs> <laughs> but they've brought us good luck so far <laughs> have they though <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get eaten by dragons that's good luck and we got Long a better pet better spot. I got eaten by a not dragon and then oh. you got resurrected mm -hmm. fair <laughs> so what would you like to shop for? Or do we want to take a short break and then do shopping? Be about a short break, a real quick one. A short yeah. break. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do 40 after 340. 340? Okay. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. We will be way. back at 340 and do some shopping and see what goes what happens from there okay sounds good see everyone in a bit bye, bye.
Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, currently we're still waiting on Mon, but we'll we'll get going. Start doing some shopping and see where we end up. So I think a good place to start is probably just taking care of the war machines. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah, we have the broken one and the working one now. <laughs> Yeah, so you have 15 soul coins currently. Um, so. How much do we need for a mech again? Was that 50? No flying machine was 50. I think the mech was maybe more like 30. Mm -hmm. Probably. I should write up a list so I actually have it in <laughs> front of me. Like I have the other machines. So I'll work on, I'll make note of war machine and then Priceless. maybe we could sell the the devil's ride for parts to clover hill ironworks for a discount on a mech <laughs> i mean as cool as the mechs are i don't know how practical they would be for us because like they, i'm guessing they don't move as fast as a as a demon grinder and nope. we're not like gonna tow it so Unless yeah. we have some way to deploy it. Like, I'm all about getting an infernal white base if we want to just have, like, Gundam <laughs> in hell. But I think that might be a lot of soul coins. <laughs> or a lot of conquering. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Petra, next ruler of Avernus. Um, so, you know... yeah. You can go to Anything. either the Forge or Ironworks for war machine stuff i say the forge because if we're fighting on eventually someday by the gundam down the row um we probably don't want to show clover the condition of the vehicles that end up in our possession maybe she'd be less likely to sell us one she also, might not really carry um I mean maybe she'd be excited if we tended to be rough with our vehicles because that means we'll be coming back for repairs frequently. Right? So Which is more money. Sure. I'll, I'll point this. Uh, no, I'll have... Um, go ahead. Uh, anybody that's talking about where to sell mm -hmm. the Devil's Right app, make me a general intelligence check. Ah... Uh... I think this was involved in that. Petra doesn't know crap about selling, <laughs> <laughs> selling parts. Yeah, Petra like, wants to buy the rust-proof undercoating. <laughs> um, <laughs> so one of the things about your Devil's Ride, Ash, all says, mm -hmm. is that you know that it's not stock. Yeah. Oh, it has... That's true. A modified engine that you haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. I might be able to get a lot more for it. And you know that the forge is kind of just a your just general forge repair, nothing special. Clover Hill seems to go above and beyond in building new things and might be a little bit more interested. That's a good point. Yeah, let's talk to Clover Hill so you can show off this. I mean, it's a it's a heap right now, but <laughs> trust us, we could, we could even demonstrate with the Hippo, like the same engine, same principle. Yeah, you can't really get right. the... Uh, the devil's ride in unless you're just like dragging it through the market yeah. so so yeah we could just like take them out and show them like hey see this you know it's broken right now but it's still very very high quality materials same basic principle as the hippo how much do you give it for give us for it so yeah you go over there you talk to what was his name <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. Somewhat snarky. I'm sure he was kind. Of, he was a little bit of a jerk, but aside from that, I think mostly Alsace was being a jerk to him, and he was responding in kind. Aaron Frustum. Frustum. 
scare him uh, and thrust him. So yeah, you go over and you talk to him and he doesn't he doesn't um he's not too thrilled to see you, but <laughs> being potential customers, he treats you with a little, little bit of an air of respect. <laughs> so what, what can I help you with today? Uh, we uh, are looking to offload a, a vehicle. Um, it's currently in uh, somewhat poor repair. However, we think that you'll find that the uh, internals of it are still very useful for you. Uh, something that, um, what was the name of the person who's actually in charge here? I'm guessing Cloverhill something. Oh, where is she? I actually don't have my sheet up specifically well, for... I'll just say something that the owner would be, uh, I think, very interested in. You do say. So what is what is different about this? Uh, it's a devil's ride with a modified uh, fuel apparatus. Uh, it can be powered with um, regular magic from any, any, uh, um, any sufficient spellcaster uh, instead of requiring soul clients to operate. Oh, that is interesting. Um, would you mind it's showing it to me? Money in the bag. Of course, of course. Come with us. Okay, so I mean, if you them... think about it, it practically pays for itself because mm -hmm. honestly, if you are somebody who's capable of, of casting spells, you're likely to replenish your ability to do so on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Whereas soul coins, they don't replenish themselves. So you are literally saving soul coins. Mm -hmm. How quickly would you save the amount of soul coins you spent simply buying this? Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, so you lead him out to the car, to the devil's ride, and you show him the heap that is in the cargo bay of the hippo. <laughs> this this seems to have had better days. Fair assessment, but uh, I'm sure you could still get plenty of useful parts and maybe even get some understanding of the apparatus yourself simply by, by uh, taking apart the engine. Yeah, reverse engineer it. We see. Uh, and he rolls up his sleeves. He doesn't look like the kind who would normally get his hands dirty, but <laughs> also being in the war machine business, he he seems like he might know a thing or two. And he kind of goes in and he pulls some bits aside that were blocking the engine and starts taking a look. Um, starts taking a look. <laughs> Sorry. And... Uh, Catherine, can I just have you roll a d20 for me? Are you going to murder him, Ash? I would never. Oh, wait, we're outside the Emporium. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the engine is mostly intact. Um, nice. it didn't, it didn't suffer too much of the wreckage that is now the accident so digging around a little bit he pulls back out well most of the machine is totaled as you you can probably see yourself a lot of it is not reusable the engine seems to have uh, sustained little to no damage so, so what you're saying is that the engine, rather than being damaged, is actually battle tested. It <laughs> took a licking and kept on ticking. I'd say that I'm not sure what kept it in shape. <laughs> I am surprised, based on the state of the rest of the machine, that it looks the way that it does, because 
whoever drove this prior clearly did not take care of it. <laughs> it didn't break when I was on it. Well, it <laughs> it broke after engineer. you jumped off of it. <laughs> look, 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 it's because this particular engine was crafted by the great uh, arcanist Tonka. And this is thus Tonka Tut. Go ahead and make a deception roll. <laughs> it is Tonka Tut. <laughs> All right, let's see. I mean, I don't think I'm particularly good at deceiving, but we're going to give it a shot. Well, it could have been worse. <laughs> well, you speak as if you know about war machines. Do I? <laughs> I can tell you clearly do not. <laughs> I'm merely relaying the information that I picked up from somewhere. <laughs> so, somebody mentioned it offhand. <laughs> Somewhere okay. has many potential sources. <laughs> but be that as it may, this proves, looks like it could prove to be a valuable research asset to Orietta. And I believe I can offer you five soul coins. Mm. Five soul coins. That's the price of a normal devil's ride. This is a this is a supremely modified. You won't find another one like this. Not like they grow on spawning trees. Um, yeah, unlike yes. our chicken friends. The I'm also the just war saying machine. in one long trip you could save yourself five soul coins using this engine. The war machine. Mm -hmm. Functional, whole, new, is worth five soul coins. What you are presenting me is a broken down pile of junk with an engine that appears to be in good condition. A very novel engine. A very special kind of engine. True. And may I ask how you came by the engine? Oh, well, we had a, a deal, but uh, part of the deal is not talking about the deal. You understand? I'm afraid I can't give you any more details than that. I see. Well, be that as it may, I do not know how feasible it is to back or to engineer this engine, but we would definitely like to try. So the deal is five coins. Do I get the sense that uh, old Frusty Buddy will be willing to negotiate here? Or is this his final, final offer? Um, he's very uptight. It's uh, <laughs> Go ahead and make an insight check. How about you schmooze him all face? I mean, you're hot. Um, I'm extremely hot. You, you get that he is a tough one to bargain with. Um, he has the ability to buy items, mm -hmm. but it seems like he, he has a set allowance, a set guide and <laughs> only um, so much budget, you know? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I think all will just turn to Ash and then say, well, the accident was your ride of choice. Does that sound fair to you? Oh, fine. And I mean, I can say if, because the cost is the same, if you would like one of our Devil's Rides, we can trade a Devil's mm. Ride engine for a Devil's Ride. Deal. Do, do, do. Oh, hold on. <laughs> could you, I, are there any cool options you could put in? You know, like upgraded After seat, it. more comfortable uh, javelin idea. holster? A basket on the front. <laughs> basket on the front. I will say we do have a devil's ride with a sidecar. Yes. It does reduce its dexterity a little bit, its maneuverability, but it does provide you with that extra seat. 
Would you say Better Spot spiders? doesn't need a whole seat? <laughs> yeah, but Better Spot needs a seat if Better Spot's going to put on a little like Panzer helmet and try oh, along. That would be really cute. You could you could also <laughs> sidecar with Lulu or Ma. Sold. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Preston, you have yourself a deal. Okay, so I need a token for Devil's Ride with sidecar. That sounds fun. Oh, while you're at it, um, and I'll say points back to the the slightly smoking um, uh, hippo. Uh, that could use some maintenance as well. While you're here, I see. While we're here, that would be a hundred hundred gold per ten hit points, or a soul coin for a full repair. I'll just I'll just flip him one of my soul coins. Okay. Keep the change there, big boy. <laughs> okay. So you now have a new Devil's Ride. I'll say it comes with eight hours of time on it. And you have a fully repaired Demon Grinder that is currently on empty. You do not have Golden Doom anymore. So we don't have to worry about repairing Golden Doom. Great. Yeah. But it also did have resistance to... Yeah, it damages. was really good. It was really good. And maybe we could ask our friend here <laughs> where we acquire some Golden Shielding like that, because that was pretty sweet. Yeah, wouldn't be, wouldn't be out of line to ask if he knows where Mahadi got it. So you point over to the um, Golden Doom, which is still sitting next to the uh, Hippo, and I'm just looking up something. Armor. Um. <laughs> And he looks at it and eyes it. Um, you will be hard pressed to find anyone in Avernus that can kit out your demon grinder like that. The gold that you see there on the Golden Doom is hmm. gold from Maman himself. Armon or Maman, M A M O N. Um, oh, like Maman, the biblical figure. Um, he is actually one of the. Uh, what level of hell is he? Um, one plane is the nine hells. Which one? He is one of the, um, he is the Lord of the Third level Ooh. of the Nine Hells. Exclusive. <clears throat> well, you know what? That just means we have more hell to conquer. <laughs> no, we can, we'll ask first. Okay, yeah. Petra is good a line. Petra would be like, excuse me, um, Lord Maman, may we please have some gold for our car? <laughs> And Mom's then. just handing out his gold all the time. He's probably like making bottles of gold schlager with it. <laughs> mm. so. All right. Well, we have two vehicles again. Um, and ours is fixed up. And hey, now Ash has a sidecar. So she can have a Which is so exciting and adorable. Which... And I can't wait to see various creatures riding in it. And this means that Ash can now do her signature jumping the hell off her bike thing and have somebody climb over and start to drive it again, <laughs> which would be great for, you know, keeping it not destroyed. Let's all <laughs> teach Better Spot how to do. Um, this also means that we are setting ourselves up for like a really sweet Circus Maximus style fight mm. where like one person is driving the devil's mm. ride and one person is sitting in the sidecar with like a spear 
right? Yep. And they're going to try and like cram them into other people's devil's ride spokes to <laughs> cause them to crash. I'm so ready for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I need to think of a better name for my new car. <laughs> like, whatever. Motor jousting. <laughs> yeah. The safe passage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that took care of two of your items. I don't remember. Oh, that's a pair of all the ones that I had coming in. Yeah. You know, at this point, I really just want to see Mary pin down a mushroom or two and wash it down with some ichor and see what gets rolled. (laughs) Mm, Copper coins. Oh, I mean, the one that I just had tasted like what gold? (laughs) Yeah. And now you have copper. I would mm, at this yeah, point. I, have gold. I'm like looking in my bag and like, am I eating out of my wallet? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the wrong bag? <laughs> Did I store the mushrooms with my coins? <laughs> you know, I mean, I figured this gold might be okay because they used to make you know crowns for your mouth out of gold, but copper, no. Mm-hmm. Like when you suck on a penny. That's a relatable it. metaphor. No. Nope. Stuck in your esophagus, <laughs> and you have to have surgery to get it taken out. <laughs> so can't uh, relate. <laughs> You're buoyant. We don't actually know. Yeah, until we throw <laughs> no, you in a lake, we, we won't that know. That is true. <laughs> I, I was like, at first I was thinking maybe you start to like float a little like a balloon. Or no, <laughs> no, because you're not like up in the air. You're going to be like one of those things at the Macy's Day Parade on the giant balloon people where you're just kind of like <laughs> hovering over the ground. <laughs> so, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> where else would you like to shop while you are here? Well, I want to go to Skin Suits and get Better Spot some cool motorcycle gear. Uh <laughs> Like a little helmet or something. A little okay. moto jacket. <gasps> Matching motorcycle jackets. So when we take our Christmas photo together, we'll match. That would be great. <laughs> you can get them with a sweet patch on the back that says chicken tendies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, chicken we tendies all MC. need motorcycle jackets now. We're <laughs> officially a gang. So is, <laughs> we is like your... this a year and a half. <laughs> So your warband name is Chicken Tendies? Is that what you're going with? <laughs> Chicken Tendies. <laughs> Strike fears in the heart of our enemies. Uh, I'm just sitting here thinking about way back, gosh, it must have been like in the late 80s or maybe the early 90s where McDonald's had those chicken nugget characters you could get in Happy Meals. You could put like a little hat on them and things like that. Oh my goodness. And that's us now. <laughs> Okay, so yep. you you go to uh, skin suits. Who all is going to get jackets? I got enough silk coins. I'll buy one for everybody. <laughs> oh my god! No. Uh, I'll so you go in, you talk to the purveyor, and they look at you a little bit like unsure um but they they say that they can fashion it for you it'll how many are we getting ash mary pen uh better spot make an executive decision and say that bond i'm going to make him one he can choose to take it or not Okay. I mean, I figure so, we basically all have to get one if we're really leaning in. At this it. point, it'd look weird if you weren't wearing one. I mean, right. I'll Indulge. maybe... No! I'll maybe put a decal <laughs> on the back of my plate Ooh. mail, but I kind of... If I don't have high armor class, then things start going way worse for all saints. <laughs> I it was <laughs> Real <a> fast. <laughs> like, the only reason that all saints is alive right now is his improbably high armor class. <laughs> just put it over it. It's just for fashion. <laughs> uh, oh, you just put the chicken nuggets in the Discord. I love it. So, um, yeah, you can get something fashion for everyone, armor appropriate. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> what that looks like for the plate mail wearers uh, yet. Um, it's a really big moto jacket. But I'll, <laughs> I'll say 
it would be you can also get one made for Lulu. Yes. Um, yes, she has to have one. But... That's non negotiable. The tiniest oh. chicken tendy. <laughs> so as adventurers, you know, when we're talking to the people up in El Trail, we're Baldur's Gauntlet. But when we're fucking <laughs> blazing the trail down in El Trail here and cracking heads. We're the chicken tendies. <laughs> right? Like, Mulder's Gauntlet is our non for profit, but the chicken tendies is our for profit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll say it'll be uh, 15 gold for the seven jackets, um, but it'll take a day for them to put them together. Uh, I have 15 gold. <laughs> that exactly how much what would you it have? somewhere here? How much would it be for one for one extra? For oh. who? Oh, for small says? No, for <laughs> Kraken gold. Uh, two gold. Okay, I'm going to throw in two gold so we get one more. <laughs> <laughs> Only Kraken important gold. members of our team deserve jackets, I say to Petra as I'm taking the tape measure <laughs> on better spot. <laughs> Kaikendal is very important. <laughs> Kaikendal helped us many times since we've liberated Kaikendal. And yeah. he can continue to help us by not us wasting two gold on him. I'm making the choice to spend two of my gold to let <laughs> Kaikendal <laughs> have a jacket. There we go. I, I slip it in, like, you know, people arguing over a bill, and I just kind of like put it on and push it toward the person anyway. <laughs> Okay, so you get your uh, jackets ordered, and those will be ready tomorrow. Uh, or well, it is the end of the day, so it would be tomorrow end of day. Um, where else would you like to go? Oh, you uh, know I always love going to uh, Artie's. Yep. The curiosity uh, shop. So you know what? Blue has a color or blue has a flavor. I've tasted it. It comes in Slurpee. <laughs> comes um, in blue curacao. So yeah. you you go over to the curiosity shop to Artie's and it's actually closed. No. It's probably just out, you know, gathering more stuff. On another dig. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. I, I would go next door to the egg shop and say, um, I noticed that the curiosity shop is closed. Do you know where Artie is? Uh, go ahead and roll me a d10. Oh boy. Okay. Roll d10. Six. Thanks. Um, yep. So you go over there. And uh, Chort is, um, they're not sure. It's not their business. They care about the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and today, uh, as you can see on the sign, um... and today they have caviar. Ooh, ooh fancy. I'll say, ask you to pick someone for him. <laughs> <laughs> while he while he uh wanders over to Bernie's for a pre spa day blowout. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure all face will pay me back or else I'll take it out of his hide. And I think he knows that. So yeah. I ask how much a couple tins of caviar would be. Um it'll be a gold a piece. For a tin of caviar? Yep. Not for a little fish egg, but for, okay. <laughs> yes. uh, I pick, I pick, I'll say up two tins of caviar. Okay. I'm taking that off. Thank you, Petra. Oh, you're welcome. Anywhere else? Did you want more mushrooms? Um, I have a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> How many do you have still? I purchased like 50 and I've eaten like 10. Okay. So I have like 40 mushrooms. Okay. One of these days you're going to get a real winner and something truly magical is going to happen. 
<laughs> do you do you have them in a bag or when you buy that many do they just like give you the whole log and you just pick them off the and, uh... <laughs> you get a bag of them <laughs> bag of shrooms yep big bag oh ever had pants mushrooms jerky before it's good i'll drop it in the chat <laughs> Like a million dollars a bag, though, so I very rarely buy it. Yeah. So we've got we've got some caviar. I don't know if Mon would actually be interested in caviar. I don't think Mon would think that they could hatch it. <laughs> if, if he uh, is, but... he'll he'll be able to pick it up retroactively. So good. And we've got our sweet chicken <laughs> chicken tendy jacket. <laughs> on order. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's the most important thing. And we've got our our hippo repaired and we've sold the engine of the the accident. We've handed oh. over the golden holly font slash the golden doom to uh to my body in exchange for spa fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see, and and art isn't there, so we can't go to the curiosity shop. Yeah. Let's see what else we got going on there. We have Icker's Away. <laughs> we have the Larva Farm. Oh, don't, don't I wonder if Better Spot there. wants to eat <laughs> a soul larva. Apparently, they're good eating. I think a soul yeah. larva is about the same size as Better Spot, isn't it? He's hungry. They're big. He's a growing <laughs> Maybe boy. They'll be best of friends like Milo and Otis. Actually, Ooh. I think a soul, the larva might be small and Better Spot is tiny. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, though. Um, and yeah, I think they were a soul coin apiece, I had said. For a larva? You're yeah. basically trading a soul for a soul at that point, which is yep. a little messed up. Hmm, we could just liberate all the soul larvas. Open. How much was a flying machine? I think 50. I think it was around 50. Oh. Yeah, I have to go and reconfirm, but I'm going to put together a list of machines. Um and their costs. Um, but if we don't have anything else to buy, I'm going to kind of push us along a little bit. So with the sure. Infernal Rapture, uh, you remember when you uh, visited, you got a meal which gave you um, the benefits of a hero's feast for 24 mm-hmm. hours. You know that you only have access to that every other day. So just if you're trying to balance, you know, A, hey, we're going someplace not especially safe. You might want to choose when you're going and when you're not. Mm. Um, I think arguably we're we're going either to the volcano or that crypt tomorrow, right? And those don't sound very safe. Yep. (laughs) So... What do you think the likelihood is that if we go into the Infernal Rapture, we'll run into Zariel and Asmodeus? I think each one has, we all have our own little instances, like in WoW. Oh, so. like their own little <laughs> pocket right. dimension? Yeah. Like we're getting stuck into a big fancy bag of holding, and yes. so things are interesting. <laughs> Basically. Yep, you have the big swirly portal that you walk through and stand mm-hmm. there while you wait for it to load. <laughs> A realm of fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, did you want to take your your night at the Emporium or at the Rapture? I would say, yeah. If we're planning on heading out either to a volcano or a, a realm of dead mewling knights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I I tend that way too. Okay. Uh, and I'm not gonna role play this one out. <laughs> I can tell it's to come food. along though, right? Uh, yes. You better. Yeah. Crack and is part of your group. Is Earwax uh, gonna get like a little like uh, fleshy wing massage? 
<laughs> Should we bring Lulu now that Zeriel's not around, or do we not want to risk it? Uh, you can just yeah. shove Lulu like underneath your cloak or something until we get in there. I mean, you'd ask Lulu if Lulu would be okay with doing yeah. that, but I mean, Lulu's not that big. It's up to Lulu, I guess, is the is the end yeah. point. You can get Lulu in. Uh, that's not an issue. So you go in. And no, huh? Well, we have that magical hat that disguises people. Can we put that on Lulu? <laughs> no, Mon, Mon is rather attached to that hat, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let, let Lulu borrow it until we get inside. <laughs> and I'd have Mon. to look. I don't know if it requires a two mint or not. I can't remember. Um, Got it. So... But no, you're able to get Lulu in without issue. Um, so you make your way into the rapture. You have a worry-free evening outside of the hut. And no pea corner to worry about. <laughs> you get your delicious meal. Everybody has something for them. Um, and what did Lulu eat? I'm not sure. <laughs> um and you uh wake up refreshed feeling revitalized uh soft hair all all of that nice nice day at the spa and you proceed out the next morning if somebody wants to check the daily eggs on the way out they can um, we should so go ahead and roll a d10. Should I roll on that or should I do it? Go for it, Petra. Roll d10. And eight. Today's eggs are rock eggs. Rock eggs? Yeah, R O C. Oh, the bar. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we should get those and hatch them. Yeah. Then we don't need a Gundam anymore. We could just ride. Our <laughs> just gotta take the time to raise it and tame uh, it. I I look and I say, uh, do you have fertilized rock eggs? We we always have a little bit of each. <laughs> do you know which one are fertilized? What kind of salesperson would I be? Excellent. <laughs> Uh, I would like to get, uh, and by the way, do you have any like incubating material here, like any incub incubators that I could also potentially purchase? Uh, not, not presently. Oh, shit. Is that why my eggs aren't hatching? <laughs> <laughs> you do have to keep them at a set warm, I think. Okay. Um, how much are the rock eggs? A uh, gold apiece. Okay. Uh, I say, all says, here are your two tins of caviar. Could you please purchase me two fertilized rock eggs? Well, I, I feel like I'm getting the better end of that bargain, but if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'll, I'll spend the two gold. Here we go. Got my two fertilized rock eggs, which we are going to take very good care of and keep warm. Okay. I'm out of gold, so that ends my weird chicken farm that I'm raising. <laughs> what are the, in fact, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, Heikendolt knows a lot about raising poultry in hell. Poultry Heikendolt. spawned from uh, trees. Mm. Mm. Still. <laughs> You've got a full tree. farming background. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and uh, take inspiration for that, cleric. What? Your poultry. <laughs> <got it>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Uh, I tried to find where's the warmest place in our our war machine. Um. That's a good question. Do you see the war machines uh, running on soul fuel, having any type of heated element, flames, 
What do you picture the War Machines running as? Well, I imagined like the engine area was probably warm, but there's no actual reason for me to think that aside from me just thinking of typical vehicles. I bet it um, it kind of pulses with the power that looks like whoever's uh, spell slots are powering it right now. So for all says, it's probably like that weird, like sh- shadowy um, kind of, you know, sharp looking tendrils or whatever. Uh, kind of shooting out of the exhaust pipes. Uh, you know, if, if Mary Penn fills it up, then it's more what well, Mary Penn's like death domain, right? So, yeah, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> skulls and shit. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'll actually say in general, the war machines are pretty toasty because Avernus itself is pretty toasty. You don't have air nice. conditioning in the machines. So it's always very well, and Ash is always riding on a bike, so they yeah. always, <laughs> they don't care. But it would be most comfortable for them. So okay, uh, yeah, I would definitely I would go probably to just the basics real quick. Do they have any kind of like fabric or like burlap or anything like that? Yeah, you could find burlap there. Okay. So I get enough burlap to make kind of like a nice sturdy little nest that I can put the, you know, where they can be cushioned and put them in a nice toasty snuggly corner of the, uh, the war machine. Okay. And then it'll run you a couple silver. Okay. Let me make sure I check that out. So oh, we shall take a healthy once we wear our matching jackets together. <laughs> um, <laughs> the jackets mm-hmm. will be ready at the end of the day. So, oh wait, you can. You can well, always... I guess we're picking up the jackets later. Yeah, you can pick we need to go adventuring. And... <laughs> yeah, you can spend the day here and wait, or you can go out and pick them up another time. They'll be here when we get back. Okay, so you make your way to your war machines. You you go out and you find a devil's ride parked next to the hippo now with a sidecar. Um, and what is your destination? Well, I'll say this is suddenly very interested in this volcano. <laughs> uh, noticing that, that seems unusual. <laughs> uh, you feel particularly drawn to the volcano? I got the sense that prior to this, you had been interested in speaking with Atlantis. Well, there's two points. Uh, point number one, I forgot just how much uh, Bell seemed uh, very uh, indignant and put out and angry with Zeriel, which I think could make them a uh, potential great ally, uh, mm. especially since unlike Olanthius, as far as we know, like Zeriel's magic isn't preserving them. It's they're, they're probably just living mostly on spite right now. So, you mm. know, we can, we can t- turn that to us. And number two, you remember that thing about my sword? I probably uh, one that you talked to. Yeah, it uh, seemed very excited about the volcano, and tend, uh, you know, I tend not to question my sword. It uh, it knows things. Treats me right. Should so... we have gotten the sword a jacket? <laughs> well, maybe like a little decal for the hilt or for the uh, sheath. Um, but we oh. can do that next time. <laughs> Gargoth probably feels super left out too. Like a little no. key bob. <laughs> yeah, a little charm. Like a cell it's phone like charm. a key blade. <laughs> 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 All right. So your sword seems drawn to speak with the being in the volcano. And I think there is something to be said for leveraging a man's spite if we wish to get something to accomplish or Mm -hmm. wish to get something accomplished. I mean, there is something to be said for the enemy of my enemy being my friend. Or at least a friend of convenience. Also, Belle is a pit fiend, right? Yep. I I could do some research on a pit fiend. That'd be okay. Oh, you should be doing some research on Mahadi. Mahadi. Yeah. <laughs> what is Mahadi? 
Rakshasa. 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 A really the pronunciation is less important. The hand <laughs> gesture is more. <laughs> the jazz hands is more important. I, I so apologize to the you know Hindu faith that D and D like lifted Rakshasas off of like forty yeah. years ago, and go. we just continue using for our now butchering of the pronunciation. I'm sure. Uh, yes. Cultural appropriation. Great. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray. Um, yeah, Mary Penn should be doing that. But also Mary Penn saw a sexy pit fiend in a volcano in a vision. So <laughs> kind of focusing on that right now. <laughs> yeah. And Mahadi seems pretty busy. Yeah, um, Mahadi seems to be uh, yeah, this... trying to woo someone who, like, trying to trying to woo a, a scary lady. <laughs> Are you shipping them now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <Fair> so, <laughs> so the fortress Mary is still here. Mahadi and Serial. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the fortress is still here. Um, well, we could sneak aboard. <laughs> it's Feel, guarded. Steal the fortress. Steal <laughs> the fortress. We should. We could. Um, Let's do it. It. Uh, something. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna kind of push a little bit because got a few things. Um, but something that Gargoth in the spa last night was grumbling and complaining about is the flail that uh zariel was that was attached where zariel mm -hmm. hinge used to be uh-huh it used to be his oh uh. damn well i bet we could get it back if we gave zariel back her hand <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't know if she I'm really not, wants that i'm hand not back giving anymore. back that hand that too. But it was hers originally. It was <laughs> it's <awful>. mine now. <laughs> oh. uh, so, so what do you propose we do about it, Gargoth? Do you want us to sneak into the spa and see if we can unlink it from her <laughs> from her wrist? Uh, he's just grumbling. Like I don't even have a body to use it, and blah blah blah. Oh. blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> we could still dangle it off of him, right? Yeah, that's true. So, um, <laughs> like truck nuts, but for a shield. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so um, how, if it was yours, how did Serial wind up with it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, did your ex give it to her? Doesn't talk about it. <laughs> oh, just simmers out of the loop for a while yeah so yeah but pushing pushing ahead a little bit um you load up into your war machines and start making your way towards bells after you fuel up the demon grinder wait are we gonna roll for our um heroes feast do we have to do that um, we'll roll for it if we need to. Because okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're going to hit something in the next 24 hours. So we'll, we'll play it by ear. Oh, well. Yep. Got it. Play it by ear. We get a um, dolly and we push them on into the, the war machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> drink too much. Mon doesn't drink, I don't <laughs> think. Um, so war machine demon grinder the hippo um it is on empty before we went into <laughs> wait, 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 before we went into our wonderful laid back time wouldn't we have thought to like fill it up before we took a long rest at the spa uh, okay. it was out of spell slots at that point um, yeah, it, it would be I wasn't I wasn't. Yeah, it would be on everyone else. I'll dump some in before our time in the spa because, you know, we're not supposed to cast spells or fight in there. Right. 
Go How for do it. we do that again? Is a con save? Yeah, tell me what spell level you're putting in. Oh god, I don't really have very good spell levels, but let's take a look. Um, I guess I'll put in a second level spell. Okay, so yep, make your con save. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you put in two hours. Excellent. I'll put in another second level spell. Another con. Ready? Yep. Same as before. No issues. So you're at four hours. I'll put in a third or a third second level spell. Okay. <laughs> yep. You're just chugging along six hours. All right. Let me see how many spells I still have. All right. I have I used my three second levels. All right, I'll put in a first level spell. <laughs> yep, good. You're at seven. A second first level spell. Uh, that one, it gets pulled in, but you feel an extra one get taken out. But it's at eight hours now. Ooh, okay, and I'll use my last first level spell. Yep, and that one's good. So you got nine hours in there. Okay. And that way you still have your third level slots in case something happens, which we know some... don't. We know won't, but she didn't know that just at the time. Yeah, Petra <laughs> would not leave herself totally drained, just in case. Yeah. So you load up in your war machines and head off to Bells. Now that um, was before our, our time in the spa. Yeah, so you're fully it's... charged. Mm -hmm. You're fully charged. All right. So... You'd head off towards Bells, and a couple hours into the ride, you see a two-wheeled infernal war machine parked next to a large rock. Um, you noticed this war machine uh, yesterday when the fortress landed, this devil's ride and there was a figure on top of it and right now you see that figure standing atop the rock peeing into the hot morning wind pee into the wind <laughs> <laughs> whoa we got a weirdo here <laughs> is a slender elf-like figure that you saw sitting on the war machine yesterday listening in on mahadi's and zariel's conversation why are they peeing into the wind? <laughs> I just love that. Getting high uh, on their own supply. <laughs> and and that is straight from the source book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, this is uh, who you see. Cool. Well, bye. <laughs> I'm just going to say that Frike and Dolt has a really serious TBI and does not canonically piss into the wind. <laughs> Which means that this is a choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I just love having my boots spattered with piss. It's just no better way to start the day. <laughs> oh boy. That's he he notices your your war machine up. heading towards him, <laughs> and as he notices you, he raises one hand, starts to wave you down, kind of turns around while pulling his drawers up, like waving you down. Uh, I guess we can slow down and see what he wants. It'd be what rude if we wants. didn't. He Maybe rolling, just roll to a crawl. Yeah, we're still this 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 convoy is still moving. We're just like, what? Yeah, we should figure out what's going on. Also, what is a Vernus's version of hand sanitizer? We'll offer some. Um, you have mayonnaise. Uh, we have alcohol. You do have alcohol. Mix the mayonnaise with alcohol, and you get. Boozy mayonnaise. Get moisturizing hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can actually make vinegar, which would actually disinfect, but that just make your peas smell like peas. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you okay. slow down to a crawl, and he's he's kind of jogging up to you. Uh, do you say anything <laughs> as he approaches? I just love the mental image of like all says is just not stopping, so he's like holding onto the window and just like kind of lightly jogging because he's talking into the window. <laughs> Uh, all says will just call out. Um, out the- <laughs> hey, hello there. Uh, are you in need of something? Uh, and he, yeah, he catches up to you. And uh, I don't know if anybody else has stuck their head out of the top of the war machines or what Ash is yeah. doing. Um. So. Petra often rides up on the top of the war machine to be ready oh, yeah. for action. So yeah, she so kind of like Penn. leaning down. <laughs> yeah. So um, as he's running up, he's howdy, y'all. Ah, <laughs> his friendly folk. <laughs> I, I trust I, him. <laughs> I, I saw you at Hi. the Emporium last night. Mm. Lovely. That's yeah. We were we were taking care of a little business there. How about yourself? Yeah, I I was listening in. Saw you listening in too. You you hear what what's going on? Mm, with with Zariel and the and Mahadi, you mean? Yeah, and those supply trains. Supply chain. Mm-hmm. Mm, yes, we yes, I picked deck. up on that. Why do you? What do you bring it up? Well, those supply trains they usually run with a hefty supply of soul coins oh really train heist. are you proposing train heist. a train heist yeah train heist. i sure am <laughs> oh my god <laughs> is this he gonna start doing a prospector dance <laughs> red dead redemption 2 yeah. <laughs> stealing a train <laughs> full of soul coins train heist i got the know-how i just need a crew to help me out Oh, God. Petra is so conflicted right now. On one hand, (laughs) stealing is wrong. But on the other hand, those soul coins are souls that can be spent in terrible ways if they go to their their destined ends. Oh, my God, Petra, you're so right. If we steal these soul coins, you can release them. That's like a good deed or whatever. (laughs) Well, and and we deprive Zariel's war machine of a very badly needed resources which is important right if we stop the bad guys from getting fueled and geared we're doing a good act <laughs> oh but on the downside if mahadi gets in trouble for limited supplies we won't have our free meals maybe mm. if we have access to the supplies we can get them to my hottie and my hottie will want to be our buddy so basically like ransoming them i think what petra's <laughs> saying the only ethical thing is to steal the supplies <laughs> and i agree well we wouldn't want to ransom them instead we could just be like oh gosh something terrible happened but don't worry we were able to recover some my hottie aren't we good <laughs> awesome people who are helping you out so much I feel like if we do this, we're definitely making a move against Mahadi because I think Mahadi would just prefer that the trains run. <laughs> I think Mahadi would prefer not to be held under the boot of Zariel. I think Mahadi is worried about what Zariel and Asmodeus are going to do, and nothing Mahadi is going to do is going to be enough for Zariel and Asmodeus. Uh-huh. I think we should be working on turning Mahadi to our side because Mahadi is a shrewd businessman and is going to do what it takes not to do things that are bad for business. Okay. And and what's our deal with him? Like once we get the soul coins or like, you can just have these, but Zariel doesn't need to know that you have them. I don't actually know. It's not that well thought out. Uh, This (laughs) is not Petra thinking this. This is Kitty the player. Being uh, like, my God, what should we do with this? Because Petra would be like, oh, committing a crime is bad, but liberating souls is good. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, so I want to lean out of the window and give this this weirdo a real hard look in the eye and do an insight check. See if I think he's he's uh, putting all his cards on the table here. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Does he know? Twenty-one. Hold them. Uh, so everything that he's saying is true. He's trying to be persuasive. Um, uh -huh. He's not trying to deceive you. He really mm -hmm. wants to heist this train, and he needs a a group to help him with it. <laughs> but if we heist this train, now Patrick's speaking back in character. If we if we assist with this train heist, we would be bringing the wrath of some very powerful individuals down on our heads. We do that for breakfast. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I think the important question would be, what would our cut be? Well, I got the know-how. I got the info. I also have a friend who's willing to chip in. So, let's say I'll I'll take 50%, you 40, and my friend will get 10. Mm, I'm doing the math here. If we're doing like basically all the work. I mean, do you do you know where the train is? I bet we could find out. Mm, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> How about we flip that around? We get there's since there's way more of us, much more splitting to do. We get fifty, you get forty. Your friend still gets ten. You see him start counting out his fingers, and I, I think we could do that. Have you actually stopped the machine yet, or are you still just no. rolling <laughs> along? He, he's still having to keep pace with us. It's just a walk. I just like that mental image too much. To, like, <laughs> this is how much we trust you. <laughs> you know, it might be worth it. You do realize if you betray us, things will go poorly. Why would I betray you? We're in hell. <laughs> I. He seems sincere. I don't think anybody who just elects of their own free will to piss into the wind on a fine <laughs> hellish morning is uh has too much artifice in their heart <laughs> mm. i'm just saying you know honor among thieves and all that that mm -hmm. if we are going to be putting our necks on the line we are doing it because we want some kind of outcome desired outcome and if someone turns around and stabs us in the back it may be the last thing that they ever get to do. Well, I assure you, I have no plans of stabbing you in the back. I'm here for front. a good time and some soul coins. All right. <laughs> when uh, when do you want to do the job? Well, from what I hear, the train should be coming through tomorrow. Damn it. Is it a legitimate train? <laughs> Does you it have, have like to, tracks? You have to talk Tell with me them. it's a real train. <laughs> Tell you what. Uh, we need some time to plan this. Get our heads together. Actually know what we're doing going in. About about a couple hours ahead. I've got a little little spot. Why don't you follow me? We'll we'll sit down, talk, plan, and get ready for tomorrow. Oh my god. I think Alsace just turns around and gives everybody the like we all know this is a bad idea, right? Face. <laughs> and then just turns back to him and is like, all right, we'll follow you. <laughs> We're going to the titty twister. <laughs> <laughs> a, from Dust Till Dawn reference. <laughs> We're going to the titty twister. That's where all the that's where all the criminals hang out while they're planning. And mm -hmm. get eaten by vampires. <laughs> yeah. So he leads you a couple more hours um, to a little valley that kind of dips out of view. 
and parks. You can see there's a little camp there that it seems like he's used this area before. So you, you follow him, get out, meet him. Mm -hmm. So yep. once you're all out of the vehicle, he comes up to each one of you with a big old smile on his face and just does the a forearm shake with you. You're just very pleased to meet you to have a crew on hand. Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I introduced um, small face to him. <laughs> well, ain't she a cutie? <laughs> okay. Now Petra <laughs> likes him a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> the way to Petra's heart is clear. <laughs> Respect small face. <laughs> there you go. So as he goes to sit sit down, you see there's a campfire, a little a little pit for a campfire, some some makeshift benches out of trees and stones. And um, he starts to uh, recite an incantation and make some hand movements. And all around you, the uh, Avernus wasteland turns into tall Viridian trees gently bustling from what appears to be a refreshing breeze the mm -hmm. sky that was you know just that fiery twilight is now pleasant uh gradients of reddish orange to soft indigo and it's still a perpetual twilight um but now it's hanging over sheltered woodlands and you hear the distant sound of small birds and rodents frolicking before adjourning to their burrows and as the leaves are swaying in the breeze you can see them shifting in hue and becoming rusted in color i don't Ooh. think we're in avernus anymore small face magical when he he sits down and starts to uh, uh set up a fire and invite you all to join him around mm -hmm. and you know it would be hilarious Hmm. What if this was Mordenkainen? <laughs> we just have this very inaccurate idea. <laughs> and instead, it's, Mordenkainen is this like hillbilly elf who just goes <laughs> around and can shift the entire landscape of Avernus. Mm -hmm. right. I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> you, you get bored being an immortal arch wizard. You're like, time for a train heist. Yep. <laughs> you know what would hit the spot right now? <laughs> a train job. <laughs> So as you um, are continuing to walk uh, through the woodland flooring, um, you don't feel the resistance of grasses. It feels still feels like you're walking on the floor of Avernus. Uh -huh. um, At least it's a nice change of scenery. Yeah, this appears to be a very strong illusion because this, this extends for 150 feet. Mm. Is this like an advanced tiny hut? <laughs> or, or do like you say a... that out loud? I, I'm just wondering, I, I would say like, is this some sort of secure location, a place of rest? I mean, no one bother, bothers me here. I just, I, I miss home sometimes, so I, I like Aww. to, I like to see it, so. Mm. Where's home? Uh, the Feywild. Oh, mm. we well, um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that sounds very nice. <laughs> I rescind my trust in the stranger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This place uh... then is it capable of? Conjuring fey creatures, fey beings. One second. Oh no. Um, Micah fell asleep. Oh. Oh my god. Micah, you adorable little jelly donut. <laughs> 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 I 
Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. Your cat is so adorable. He really is. That's why yeah. he gets away with everything. He's so fashion with his little matching claws and bandana. Yeah, I'm thinking about switching him out for the bow ties this week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see if Micah jumps back in. Uh, I'll just go over here for now. Yeah, that works. Um, so, where were we? I was asking if, if this place could contain conjured fey creatures. Well, everything here is just an illusion, so, and I can control it, so, and he, he, um, twists his hand, and you see, I don't know what little fey creatures there are, um, fey squirrels, yeah, <laughs> you see a few little fey squirrels run across the ground, uh, and disappear, ooh, you know what, <laughs> no, not relaxing, go back to hell, um, <laughs> It truly is hell. <laughs> uh, so, oh well, if, lucky if Ash. Don't... <laughs> that's, that's enough. We don't have to see any more of your parlor tricks. <laughs> well, that, that's fine. If if you don't like the the the, the critters, you, I, I, they can stay away. So yeah, they'd probably be best. They're a little distracting for our planning. <laughs> right. Distracting. <laughs> <laughs> so this train have you ever seen them as an a train or trains like this specific train honestly uh, i don't even know what you mean by train like the train of a dress is that are they dragging oh it along on a very nice large wedding uh, dress oh, i, I got you is a train so so you know your war machines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're they're a little bit different as in there is one big one at the front and it pulls others behind it that are just for cargo no oh. and mm. it it requires rails you know long pieces of metal to travel upon and they come up out of the land in front of it wherever it's going and then fall behind afterwards so it's mm. a train it's it's pretty nifty but, so it's enchanted in some fashion. I mean, all war machines are enchanted. But this one I, extra. <laughs> I mean, I didn't actually know that. I, I assumed <laughs> that they were mostly mechanical, but I guess they are all enchanted. This one extra, though, in the sense that it creates the rails that it needs to run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they don't run on soul coins. They run on soul coal. It's... Oh, cool. it's it's unrefined souls. Gets a little Ooh. bit. Gets a little bit more. Does it like well, soul back. smoke? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so what Train. you missed is that on the way out of the emporium, the party came upon an elf who was standing atop of a cliff peeing into the hot morning wind. Dude, I can... Dude's my next best friend. <laughs> oh boy, of course. <laughs> and he, like <laughs> he offered up a job to help with a train heist. Oh, fuck yeah, there are trains in hell. Yep. Oh, and... also, we bought you a matching gang motorcycle jacket. Thank you. Here's the chicken tendies. Because <laughs> uh, that's our war band name. <laughs> yeah. We already have an adventuring name. Now we have a war band name. Wait, yeah. this is what he looks like? This picture here? He's the green? one that I shared. Yeah. 
Oh. Yep. Very leafy. Smiler, <laughs> the defiler. Very good. Yes. Wait, is he a fey creature? Um, he is an elf. Okay. So he is an Eldrin yeah. elf. But so he was just telling you a little bit about the train. And so far, he also transformed uh, cast a illusion on the area around you to make the Avernus landscape um, <laughs> look like um, like the Feywild trees and whatnot. So it's it's a little bit of a different feeling. But this train, it generates its own tracks wherever it goes and it's powered by soul coal is what you know so far uh mary pin currently doesn't remember anyone's names uh, why <laughs> because of a mushroom oh, just eating the mushroom <laughs> why is no one it's okay, stopping mary you Penn. that <laughs> happens to me all the time i'm just gonna be like um the the one with the hair uh no, the one with the burning hair Penn. Oh, hey, yeah, well, you literally <laughs> bump into somebody that you kind of know at the grocery store, like, oh, it's oh, hi. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, it's a fine friend like you do in How? these days. <laughs> That's what We've you say all clearly we been here. Remember. <laughs> so, um, I will just give you all my goal to finish by six. Um, mm -hmm. To go through the what Smiler has on the train mm -hmm. and to have a general plan for the next session because we're going to launch into the train heist next session with our guest right. Brandy. So Does that mean Brandy's gonna be an intimate part of this train mm -hmm. heist? <laughs> Brandy gets the 10%. <laughs> yeah, yes! Brandy's the partner. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, we're literally so. railroaded. Yeah, I oh, railroaded my you. Oh my goodness. Is Brandy going to be like Hell's version of Calamity Jane? Um, <laughs> you get my inspiration, Micah. <laughs> you I literally, yep, that's good. We're, we're still working on Brandy's character, and we're going to work on backstory and all that fun stuff. But yes, they are the... Um, the assistance that's going to come. May so. I make a humble request if Brandy is cool with this? Brandy is incredibly, ridiculously knowledgeable about horses. <laughs> Brandy would be a badass on some kind of magical horse. I thought you were going to say centaur. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. If it, this does feel very wild west of us you know mm -hmm. robbing a train in hell mm -hmm. so you you also haven't heard smiler talking yet um oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeehaw yep. ye and dare he say it huh <laughs> <laughs> so uh back to the heist and the information um so you've been told that it's coming tomorrow, makes its own tracks, and powered by soul coal. Okay. We could free all the souls in that soul coal. Whoa. You, you, so, or soul we coal. could just steal the train. So so the thing about soul coal is it's it's not like the soul coins where each one has one. It's kind of just souls all broken down into bits, and mm -hmm. it's 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 not that kind of deal. All mushed up. Yep. It's it really can't, and you can't use it in the war machines. It's not not fine enough. You, you know, you have those really powerful souls, and then you just have the nobodies. They're kind of the nobodies. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Dragon... My kind of people. <laughs> oh, buddy. Dragon Smiler. Um, <laughs> like, so, uh, what do we know about where it's going to be passing through? Like, what is so, the uh, terrain it's passing through? So, I, I can get us there. It should be pretty smooth. Uh, the train 
likes flat ground just like the war machines like flat, flat ground um so well, are there say going to be any spots where it will pass through um like a ridge or something like underneath a cliff where it could get a good view of it they they try to stay away from those because they i've used that method before they learn <laughs> fair so, but, so flatland it is yep flatland and you know but avernus is avernus so you never know what we might come up against mm -hmm. but the car we're going to care about is going to be the vault car so these these trains are sent by Maman. He he's the one that supplies the coins. He's the one that supplies the infernal iron. He's got all everything going on there. But there there's more than just that. This isn't just you know vault soul coins. Isn't just you know building materials for the war machines. There's there's also uh, gonna be devils down there they've got you know staff and guards they've got a buffet casino it's it's the whole kit and caboodle wow so could we sneak someone on do you know if it's making any stops i mean we could try to sneak oh, someone on it, it i don't think it'd really make any stops mm. it's bringing uh at least not until it gets to uh mahati out to the Emporium. Because the, the travelers are coming up from the other layers. Mm. I see. But if, so if there we could... are people, there are passengers then on this as well. If there's a buffet car and casino. This is not just for goods. Yeah, it's it's got it's got other devils, incubi, succubi, you know, tieflings. Just tieflings. Just random tieflings. Just some tieflings chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Pat's like, huh? <laughs> but yeah, so so we've got the engine, there's the the soul coal cart, the tender. Then you got the vault and the guard there's a guard cart right behind it. But on top of the vault, there's probably gonna be some some type of anti-us device <laughs> might be a, a weapon of some type so we'll have to be careful about that mm. and then after the guard cart you got some staff quarters the buffet the casino there's a quiet car and you, you don't want to know what goes on in that quiet car uh, don't mm. ask oh my goodness now i do want to know don't <laughs> ask about the quiet ask. car <laughs> and then probably one of the most dangerous cars that we got to be careful about is the observation car because that's where you got the passengers that are going to be looking out and if we get in view of that they're going to see us coming that's going to ruin our element of surprise hmm. so we should kill everyone in that car first and is then... the observation car ahead of or behind it's, the vault car? It's behind. So this is all in order. So you start with the oh, engine, okay. soul coal, tender, vault, guards, staff. So right next to the vault is a guard car. So we got to be cautious on that. Make too much noise and we might alert them. And Is there any uh, way we could decouple the cars? So last time I went in, they just had some pins. And you could pull mm -hmm. them. It, it was a little bit iffy, though. You had to be strong. And they were hot, mm -hmm. so... Mm. Strong and resistant to fire, you say? Very pin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I just love the idea of stealing from not only the rich, but just innocent passengers. <laughs> we are not stealing from any innocent passengers we are specifically stealing supplies that were being sent to fuel Zariel's nefarious deeds here talk for yourself Petra 
Hunter just gave us the go ahead. What are you talking about, Micah? We're in hell. There are no innocent We're in passengers. Hell. <laughs> so, They're probably We're in like hell. None of them are innocent. People. They, these are what all if devils. They're like Krikendol. Krikendol is innocent. If they were really like Krikendol, I don't think they'd let him on the train. Krikendol's one of a kind. No one's like Krikendol. <laughs> and you're the very, I thought you were the very person who was telling me ages ago not to judge like all people with uh, devilish or demonic heritage in the same way. So I don't know what the people who are passengers on that train are like. If there are any who are clearly engaging in harmful behavior, then we'll have to put a stop to that. But otherwise, we're not there to steal their goods. We're there to liberate the the makings of war. <laughs> so I, uh, I'd, I'd say while you know, it sounds like you have a very pure heart, <laughs> you want to be in and out as quick as possible. Because once those guards are notified, it's going to be rough. You might be able to handle the guards right next to the the vault, but if you get those and the ones coming up from behind, because there's a guard car in the back as well, right next to the observation cars, it, it might be a little mm. bit rough. Tony, could you take us to like a blank map or something so that we could draw a little diagram of the train? I think that yeah, would I would love to have a diagram of this. I think that would yeah. be helpful. And you know, and we're all just like drawing it out. in the dirt or like, you know, we have... We have paper, I we, imagine. We have that paper. Don't people use it when they're sending things? Or oh, I'll say says paper. But if he drew it on his, then his mom and little brother would just <laughs> get a map of a train. <laughs> if you about that, they might be like, "Oh, I wonder where I'll say this off to next." <laughs> He's obviously on a train. <laughs> What's a train? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, let me see if I can get mine to load up because it's just sitting and spinning and not doing anything. Mm. Do be sitting and spinning though. Oh my God. <laughs> if we could get one of us, say one of us who might have an easier time passing themselves off in there, mm -hmm. just inside like a restroom car or a restroom a rest area somewhere there's privacy the then they could be on the inside the issue with that is actually trying to get them in there i could try to dim dimension door us in but if i can't see it then it would be dicey <laughs> yeah so i can't think of anyone who would actually fit in there though i mean uh we could uh mon has that cool hat I do have that cool hat. Well, we already know that the tieflings are on board, so if we're choosing one of our members to sneak on board, it'd be Mary Pin. But, like, aren't the tieflings here, like, not purple? Ooh. I mean, they I don't come know. in assorted it... flavors. What kind of color is that? <laughs> I think more in the sense that, like, you know, like, purple there's like grape and there's probably like oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to make a peppermint tiefling <laughs> with the horns like a little like peppermint candies <laughs> i mean more in the sense that unless there's a reason to think that they're all the same uh type of tiefling the same appearance then you think there'd be like assorted types of tieflings on there right Assorted flavors, okay. <laughs> In the sense that there's probably different kinds of tieflings, right? Because I know that there's different, there's like how many different types of tieflings? Like four or five? It is. Mm. It's a bunch. There mm. is a lot. I do like the idea of sneaking somebody on, but I feel like if that plan goes south in the very beginning, then everything else we do after it is just going to like suck. So I yeah. don't know. It seems very risky. Yeah. Uh, and if we're trying to move so fast just to go after the one car, it might be better for us all just to like yeah. blitz the one car together. As much as I love the train heist where you have somebody on the inside working with the team on the outside, it might be overcomplicating things. <laughs> so we, we've we got your demon grinder. 
Mm -hmm. I got a couple devilish rats. Uh, my friend, they they've got a tormentor. So I can be a driver for y'all. Hmm. Oh, why won't you let me in? Yeah, Forge would... kicked me out too. Yeah, what? I'm struggling with it. It's saying I'm still logged in, but I'm not. So oh. um, they might be having server issues. Who knows? Um, so I will provide a drawing once we get in the Discord for you all to think about it a little bit too. Um, so, but yeah, my my suggestion would be try and get in the vault car. My friend, I believe, I'd have to confirm that they're able to fly. Oh. <laughs> so, But they would be a prime target for that anti-us defense thing yeah. on the top if they just flew right in. Are they really your friends if you're not sure if they can fly? This is me, the DM, not being 100% okay. sure if they can fly <laughs> because, um, no, they can fly um, because we're just finishing up character creation. Okay. So, uh, But they can fly. Um I'd probably recommend just using the one war machine. If you let me drive the grinder, I can get you all close enough to get in there and then head away so as not to be a target. There's probably going to be one oh. or two turrets up top. Go ahead. Okay, but we're going to have Crike and Dolt stay to keep an eye on you. That's fine by me. If you guys don't no, make no it fence. out... If you don't make it out, I don't get any soul coins. <laughs> that is true. And he gets stuck with Krikendol. <laughs> he just gets the free Krikendol. <laughs> okay, so, so do the war machines go as fast as it, as the train, or does it need to be like... Yeah, the train runs about the same Ranger. speed. So okay. They can't really dump demon icker in the engine it's not really it doesn't function the same way as the machine so okay so do we have an idea of the general path this thing is going to take so that we could like cut it off at the pass and just park up overnight and then once once it's close enough just like haul ass so that, so we're not like chasing them for a half hour yep we can do that we can my my thought is that we set ourselves far enough away that we can kind of even in on the side and try and keep out of view of the engine and the observation car. Sounds good. Now, how you're going to get on the on the train, what's your thoughts on that? Because you said you can dimension door, that's you and one other. You could pop up top. My friend, she can fly up. She could probably maybe carry someone. I don't know how heavy y'all are. I could make, uh, and I'll say still some math on his fingers. <laughs> I could make about uh, three of us fly as well. Okay. So that's, that's an option. I also have Dimension Door, but Dimension Door might be iffy because we don't know what it looks like inside or like you yeah. can't see it. Yeah. yeah, but you can pop up top. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, what's the range on Dimension Door? 500 feet? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so that's... That's, that's uh, for you. Well, so, Mom became 20% cooler last night, or the night before. So <laughs> I volunteered to be your partner in crime. Hell yeah. I think, yeah. Mom, you can Dimension Door with somebody else too, right? So that's that's five. Yeah. That's That's all of us players <laughs> how's that five aside from because two for the dimension door three for the fly oh you're gonna give three people fly okay i mean Is it could lulu helping us that... yeah yeah lulu can't carry someone but you know lulu can fly um, yeah lulu can fly on their own um, turns out brandy's rolling a holly faint 
calling it now. <laughs> so. So it sounds like you've got the means, and if if you all can dimension door, that's five hundred feet. I don't have to get as close. Mm -hmm. And if if you all get there first, you should be able to clear the way for the fire flyers, so the turrets don't target them. Okay, so we would be some of us arriving early via dimension door beating the shit out of the like the guards on top because are there guards like on the top of the train or like who watch the top of the train i'm assuming they do i mean they're they're gonna have some type of turret kind of like like what you got on your demon grinder over there it might be harpoons it might be something different but they need to be manned so probably at least two up there on top okay yeah, you can even if you don't take them out by the time we get there, they'll be too occupied fighting you guys, so they won't be able to shoot us down. Okay. And then there's the guard car in the back, and then the guard car in the front, right next to the vault. I'm trying to visualize it. No. Yeah, let me. I have a list, but I'll put it in Discord. If we, like, dance on top of one of the guard cars, <laughs> then it's like, we've got those people distracted. Okay. If we wanted to do that, or we could just, like, sneak in really quickly. So that, in our Discord, is the list of the cars and the order they're in. Cool. Okay. So... so Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So it's right. the top, the front of it, and the bottom is the back of it. Yes, the engine yeah. is in front. And the caboose is the caboose. Caboose. Oh, but I want to rob have this casino. Anymore. Can we rob the casino, or are we only going <laughs> to rob the vault car? I well, think we should aim to get on and off as fast as possible. Yeah, the vault car is going to be your most prosperous target. The The casino's small change. It's just devils gambling away for yeah, small stuff. But it would but, make them so angry. But the vault, if you want to make someone angry, that's Maman's vault right there. And <laughs> uh, you weren't around, but he is the he's in charge of the third layer of Hell. Ooh. Okay. So, who, who wants, wants to be on Dimension Door team? Who wants to be on Flying team? I'm on Dimension Door team. Okay, so that's you and Mon, and then the rest of us will fly. Alrighty. The beat your fly speed. The... <laughs> <laughs> team Sorry, Hot Topic. That topic. That's that's what we're going to be calling ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah there's probably going to be some locks my my friend is should be able to handle those uh, there might be some some security measures on the vaults on the safes so you might have to deal with that all right well I think we've got a pretty good plan here. Uh, oh, how many silk coins did you say there were going to be? Were you expecting in the dozens? Yeah, there there could be, I don't know, if we're lucky, maybe upwards to 100. That's a lot. Could we carry that? Um, I mean, They don't you? weigh very much, I'll say. <laughs> well, like, they're like, they're like big discs like that big, right? Yeah, you know, you you get a hundred, you split them up between a couple of bags, should be you know, a couple of people carry them easy. Mm. <laughs> out of out of character easy. question, do you start suffering the ill effects as soon as you pick them up, or if you spend a significant amount of time with them? Oh, as soon as you pick them up. Great. Don't we have a bag of holding? Mon has it. Yeah. Yeah. 
But then wouldn't that translate to just me holding all of them, despite them being in a bag of holding? You're yes, evil but, now. But I'm evil. Who cares? But you don't You're know that. Now. You don't know <laughs> that it hasn't affected you. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, we could we could set it out where you know Ash is always willing to help out, so I'll carry the bag holding. Okay, mm, this is where okay. Ash runs off, and mm -hmm. I'm just saying that I don't think Smiley here is gonna notice a couple soul coins missing from the loot. <laughs> here is exactly your half, or whatever. <laughs> or I mean, he doesn't know unless unless you know his partner snitches on us, yeah. which which they might. Uh, because they know him better than they know us, presumably. Uh, but yeah, so we know how we're getting in. We know how we're getting the stuff out. Anything else? If you're good, you're good. Part Sounds of me wishes me. we had like cowboy hats and like guns. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have that sweet hat of disguise. I think you can look like whatever you want. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be like a good disguise I can yep. like, why is an old man robbing the train <laughs> you can just start looking like woody from toy story <laughs> dim -dome. Don't dim -dome, owner of the dim still dim dome so uh, as you're finalizing your plans for the train house heist uh, Smiler gets up and goes over to his saddlebags, and as he's walking back, he has a handful of shot glasses and a water skin, and he sets them around. Uh, Who is up for some shots? Oh, I was way more trusting the Smiler before I saw that goddamn fairy squirrel. Um... <laughs> and as he starts pouring. He's talking, and you see it's Demon Icker. So I like to have fun with this. I think Mary Penn will really Mary appreciate. Penn joins in. Yep. Uh, Alsace, Alsace will push that back and, you know, produce, like, his own little water skin and be like, I'll toast with this. Mon has mayonnaise. So... I never pass up a drink. <laughs> so if Mary Penn's drinking, I can feel peer pressured enough to drink with Mary Penn. Drink with Mary <laughs> Penn, not with scary fake creature guy that happening. <laughs> so go ahead and whoever is taking a shot, roll a constitution saving throw. Mon would definitely take one. Um, if your foundry isn't up, you can just roll by manual. Mm. It's been a bit since I tried to join it, but I'm not drinking anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put him on the map so I can use his token for saving throws. So I'm trying. You you take the first shot. Uh, oh, Mon, Mon's in there as well. Mon, Ash, they save. This is your first time actually drinking it. It's interesting. Um, I'll let Mary Penn describe what it tastes like because they've been drinking so much of it. <laughs> um, it tastes like when you haven't eaten for a few days because you've been feeling sick, but you still throw up. And oh. it's like that bitter taste. Bile. Mm. The bile taste. Yeah, that bitter bile taste. So it's smile. Like bug snacks. You eat it, and sometimes you change. <laughs> it's like bug snacks. So Smiler, first go around. You you see him take the shot and he bites it down, and as he brings his head back up, you see two tusks growing up from uh, his bottom jaw. I'm a fan of tusks. <laughs> Whew, these are fun. <laughs> Haven't had that happen before. <laughs> I got a, so constitution. Save. Save. Hold on. I have to roll with the actual die because it's not rolling. Yeah, your save is plus one. Yeah, I see that. 15. You're good. Damn it. 
So he Aww. pours <laughs> he pours out another round. Down for another? All... Yeah. I didn't get hurt the first time, so I have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't no, have pass. to, Ash. <laughs> Who is smiling the de- smiler the defiler grieving the last people he drank with? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, auto naming. Mm, yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? Fifteen. Fifteen, you're good. So that's one, one, two. Pours in a third round. We haven't really studied how much drinking this like. Effects, like upsets your stomach or anything. Just I've been taking notes. Okay. <laughs> for science. I have my notepad out. <laughs> uh, do you want me to roll the table for you? Yeah. So, man, you take the shot and... Um, <laughs> your Your skin becomes scaly like that of a snake. Okay, hmm. I can I can get with this. Has a little bit this of an be, iridescent. This must be a very weird sensation against that and my like studded leather, <laughs> <laughs> my skin suit. <laughs> well, just in general, it's an interesting sensation because you haven't had scales before, so you're like feeling <laughs> your hands and. You know, you shed your skin into a when in Rome, do as the Romans do, as they say. Become a snake person. <laughs> Become a snake person. Yeah, they have skills. What was your third? Fourteen. You're still good. Oh god. He pours I'm a fourth stop round. At this point. <laughs> fourth round. Yep. Try a different die. Whew. You want the bad rolls? I do. Ooh. Five. Oh. Uh, you can roll for yourself. Smiler, his fourth shot. He, uh, his skin just starts to dry up, and you can see it kind of suck in on itself. And, just becomes and he was dry. such a pleasantly moist fellow before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So moist. You look a little dehydrated there. Uh, and for you... Wait, I was going to roll mine. Oh, I didn't know you were in. Yeah, I'm in. You can roll. Okay. <laughs> so, as you take the <laughs> shot, your your teeth slowly retract into your gums, and you, you're just gumming now when you talk and drink, and unless you put food in. What about gum? Like, what if you have gum in your mouth? Um, gum isn't a thing in D and I wouldn't say. Oh shit! Mm. <laughs> I mean, there there might be some iterations of it, but it's not like something that you just pick up at the general store. You, you good for another round? I'll do one more. One more, for funsies. For funsies. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't know what that one did, but... He's dry and crusty and also (laughs) brittle. (laughs) Six. Go for it. You just see Mary Penn as they're sitting there uh, on this bench, you know, face to face with Smiler. Their knees just start to push out as their legs grow 10 feet. (laughs) Wait, my legs grow 10 feet or just my walking speed increases by 10 feet? Oh well, you're gr- you, I'll say your legs increase by five feet, so you and your height is now five feet <laughs> taller. Wait, I'm just five feet tall now. Five feet just taller. Legs. 
<laughs> As your legs extended. Yeah, your body's like three quarters or two thirds legs now. Yeah. Yeah, it's just all okay. legs. I mean, that'll make escaping easier. I mean, like how in cartoons, the adults are just legs and you can't see their their (laughs) eyes. That's a fun one. You can have fun fitting in your your ride like that. Oh, yeah. So, are you good? Uh, I think I'm good. (laughs) Anyone else? God no. <laughs> he, he mutters <laughs> he mutters a few words and you see his his fangs or his tusks retract back in his skin um regains its moisture Whew, well that was fun <laughs> the point of that <laughs> for, for fun <laughs> It is fun. Perfectly good acre. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna judge you. I have scales now, but I like them. I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> <laughs> Snake man. Ma, I need to totally pass up one of your when your you know when your skin flakes off. Take some of your scales and try to sell it as dragon as dra- scales. As dragon scales. Hey, no, no, it's oh, counterfeit. Uh. Yeah, go to Red Roots. Like, I got more scales. We murdered more dragons. <laughs> I mean, she might. Begin to question something when you now have snake skin. When I now have snake scales and I'm offering her a scale that looks exactly like mine. Saying she, it's might, from a dragon. she might draw Guys. some conclusions. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, well, Mon doesn't know that people can be that smart. So <laughs> we hang out too, mu- too much. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And with that, let's wrap things up because I have some place I need to be at seven. Oh, all right. And Alrighty. So next session, we will dive right into a train heist with our good friend Brandy. Sounds like a good time. Most Thank- definitely does. Not Thank scary you scary at all. <laughs> Thank you everyone <laughs> for joining and Thank you, Brandy, for joining us next session. It'll be fun to get you in. And don't forget to go and check out Ensuing Confusions. Uh, The link was in the chat earlier on. So, yeah, ensuingconfusion.pinecast.co. So, thank you all, and have a good evening. Bye. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.